All right, I'm here, I promise. Oh, shoot. It does this from time to time. Oh, come on. Hold on. I thought I did this right, but I guess I didn't. Very brief technical difficulty. So loud. Okay. Greetings and salutations, everyone. My name is Kenny Dialabaster, Nico of the Abyss, Indian VTuber, scholar, noble, aspiring gentleman. Right now, we are just hoping that my internet connection holds. That is the dream. The longer we go, though, the less like a dream that feels is going to be possible. Anyway, that's that problem fixed. Okay, I can get started. Uh, when last, last we left off, the internet of mine uh, just destroyed itself, and it was terrible. Uh, it appears to be trying to do the same thing now, but in a different way, which is very exciting. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Green Raccoon. Also, welcome J420Blazing. Hello. Sorry if the stream quality is a tad bit down. I cannot fight my own internet, unfortunately. But I can shoot some Anchorage simulation uh, soldiers. Hold on. That was fast. Oh, nope. Still very hard. Why, why is this working so well? I swear they were much spongier earlier. And by earlier, I mean last Fallout stream. Psst. Oh, hey. Does anyone else remember them being spongier? I remember them being spongier. It was almost a problem. Are y'all receiving the stream, by the way? You can hear me, right? Uh, we leveled up last time, but then the game sort of didn't... You, 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 some of you were there, you know, you know. I have no idea what to level up. I do barter, but at this point, I think it is in fact a dead skill because I have so much money and have the capacity to make so much money that being able to get things cheaper doesn't really matter. So, oh, you can hear me? All right. Can you hear the rest of the stream? <laughs> can you hear me shoot the bullets? You know, can you hear the, the other stuff? Usually my audio is pretty good. It's the games that I'm never sure about. Crap, what is worth... You know, I want to I wanna blow unarmed out of the water for one very specific reason. And it's for Mothership Zeta. Level up Sneak, Shits and Giggles. I want to do Sneak later, but I know that there's that one part in Mothership Zeta where uh, you have to use your fists in the very beginning. And this is very hard. And that section... Just that first opening part before you get all your crap back always sucks. And that's without it being on very hard. So I think I want unarmed. Why not? Isn't there an unarmed perk too? I, I just could have sworn. No, there's Iron Fist, right? Like Way of the Iron Fist or something like that. Paralyzing Palm, I remember this. Puppies, no. Do I have, uh... I can't see what I have, can I? Because I want Grim Reaper Spirit, but I think I took that last level up. Quantum Chemist? Quantum Chemist is tempting. Ooh, that's very tempting. We're taking it. That's, uh, that'll be good for later. Yes, never mind. Use your fists. I don't want to use them. I'm just saying that at a certain point, there's no choice, you know? I had, a, I had a harrowing moment in this game once where I, um... I must have been using unarmed, right? It must have been a part of the build. Game audio is good too, by the way, thank you. But it must have been part of the build where I was clearing out Project Purity and uh, I was using my fists, but I didn't know it because I thought I was using, a, like, brass knuckles or whatever. 
and uh, I was killing super mutants and it was on very hard and I made it through pretty easily and I realized that I was using my fist and I was so confused as to how that was working. Because there were like overlords in there and stuff. I still don't know how I survived it. Oh. Let it be known, I never claim to be good at this game. Just generally. Sometimes I am though. Good job, Meat Shield, you're doing great. I forgot his name, the, the guy, the guy that follows us, that takes the bullets. This is wonderful, I can't loot them. Every time I try and it doesn't work, I feel just a little bit more dead inside. What do I have? Oh, that's right. I have big gun. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. There was a thing here this whole time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss this thing later. When they make me give it up. Ah! I don't want to fall down the hole. We're fine. This is fine. When are the dragoons again? Crap! I'm trying to remember this DLC, and I'm drawing a lot of blanks, but I swear that there's the invisible guys, right? They exist. They have swords. Nice audio tape. Nothing else. Oh, in-game lore that I'm not gonna listen to, probably. Nice to have. You done similar things with lesser success? Oh no. Lesser success? What was the similar? You ever boxed a death claw to death in Fallout New Vegas? That's fun. You just about need, uh... What's it called? The Ranger Takedown to do it, though, unless you have uh, that one perk that's pretty awesome. And all that's left is the blood stain. Poor guy. Ammo? Ammo. We like ammo. I don't know why it's giving me missiles. I don't think I've had the opportunity to find a missile launcher. Hmm. Maybe I have and I just missed it. I'm taking them anyway. You never know, right? Man, the Anchorage guns are annoying. The Invisible Assassins? Yeah, they're here somewhere. Oh wait, this is the room. It's gotta be. Yeah. There they are. It's the Crimson Dragoon. They're coming down. They ever stop moving? He's having a good time. You're doing great, buddy. Nice leg. Wow, he's still just chilling, huh? All right, where's assassin number two? Did he drop yet? Oh, he did. He's over there. Oh, I see. Hold on. Wait, I have a sniper rifle. I can make this work. I got this. Did I hit? I did. Okay, we're, we're in business. Oh, here he is. Crap. He was seeable for a second. Oh, man. Just perfect. Invisibility did not help him, I'm afraid. Oh, and he's gone. Wait, give me the sword. No. Well, that sucks. Anyway, back to the Gauss Rifle. The best weapon in this DLC, of course. It is Gauss Rifle, right? I had this conversation last time. I'm pretty sure it's Gauss Rifle, not Gauss Cannon. Not that I'm going to look, but I think I'm right. Da-da-da. I don't see any more invisible guys. Those are like the only two, right, in the whole DLC. There might be more, but I only remember that that one scene where they kind of just introduced themselves. More resources. We will take... Hold on, just put that away. It takes up a lot of screen. We will take all this. Come on. Maneuver hard. Work with me here. Okay. Now we get to the fun part. Danger? Danger. I mean, there's a Chinese soldier. Hardly. 
Did I really miss? That's embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this lag. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, he's got stuff, too. You can't figure out the ranger takedown. It's, uh, so it's a backwards move, which is the problem. So you got to do it while moving back instead of forward or, you know, in a direction that isn't compromising to, uh, melee combat and Fallout, Fallout New Vegas. That's the, uh, that's the trick. You basically have to catch them mid-attack. Stream, please stop buffering. Well, I mean... Ah, oh, damn it. It never goes my way. My streams never go my way. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, there's another, another guy. Their suits are cool. They are! Actually, the suits do look nice. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, there he is. Nice. I like how they're so fuzzy. Winterized. It's, uh, it's entertaining. I don't know. Bup. Okay, we're all ready for the big fight. The big encounter. The, the thing. The thing that you do. Hmm. Funny, it's the future, but we're still using artillery. I know it's a pseudo, like, sci-fi, apocalyptic, nightmare future, but... I mean, it's still weird. I know they have missiles. Good job. Now we just... Plant explosives and run. As far away as we can get. Yep. This is it probably far enough? Maybe. Jeez, dude. Right on the name. Wait, what name? What am I right about? I have so many grenades. More grenades than I'll ever need. Okay, let's head up this way. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, it's another invisible guy. What did I hit? He took so little damage. What happened? Oh, right in the nads. Oh, he has a flamethrower. Inferno unit. Now that I don't remember. Knock him on his ass. No, it didn't quite work out. Oh, that knocked him on his ass. Ah. Uh, what's better for fighting a flamethrower than a sniper rifle? There. He got everything he deserved and more. Now this guy... I just armed him. We're all good. How good is this stuff? 32. Damn, that's not bad. I think that's... No, wait, that isn't better than what I have. That's... I think what I have is 37. That's still not bad. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Next gun. Did that one blow up? It did blow up. We got it. Let's blow this beast apart. Just gonna... Don't mind me, enemies. Just helping myself to your... Plentiful supply of barely usable ammunition. Just, uh, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Wonderful. I should have, I should have cleared them, huh? I forgot. Did you, you say you were going for power armor this playthrough? I am not. No. I think it's because I always end up, right, like everyone else, I always end up picking the one set of power armor that comes from this DLC and just using that forever, right? But, 
I wanted to try something different. Oh, geez, that's a piece of a that's a piece of a gun. I wanted to try something different and like only try using combat armor for uh, for this playthrough. So uh, we're gonna stick with the Rangers get up, I think. Ah, let's hope I don't go back on my word on that one. It's not impossible. That armor is some pretty tempting shit. Damn you, buffering. Again, I apologize for all of the stream shenanigans. I cannot fix my internet. I would if I could, but I can't. So, you know. It is what it is. Aha! And they all come tumbling down. You know, it's amazing we're alive right now. That's a lot of freaking artillery shrapnel. And that's that. Fire in the hole, baby. Damn fine work you did taking out those guns. Damn fine. Thank you, General Chase. Allow General to continue. Why not? Unfortunately, while you were up there climbing mountains, we were down here getting our butts kicked. The Chinese decided to use our field HQ for target practice and damn near blew us all to pieces. We lost some good men, including my strike team commander, Colonel Patterson. Eh, Patterson wasn't pulling his own weight. I got it from here. Anything I can do to assist, sir? I didn't call you down here for a pep talk and cigars. You've earned yourself a field promotion, soldier. Nice. As of this We're moment, promoted. You're taking over Patterson's strike team. And before you thank me, you better wait and see what your mission entails. I mean, does is the pay better? Because if that's the case, then we're good. What are my orders, there sir? Are three hardened targets that stand between us and the Chinese headquarters. That's where your strike team comes in. Follow me over to the situation map and I'll bring you up to speed. Right. Man, they took all my stuff. As is tradition. Okay, talk. We got some dialogue. Okay, okay. now speak. Soldier. I'm only gonna go through this once. We've set up our new field HQ down here. The area is pretty secure now that the artillery guns are gone. The first of the three targets we need to handle is their Chimera Depot over here. Be careful on your approach. You're gonna have to get through the enemy camp on the way. Once you breach the perimeter of the depot, you need to take out both of the main fuel tanks. Your second target is all the way over here. The Chinese have set up a listening post set into the side of Callaway Ridge. Uh -huh. There are some abandoned mines along the route, so keep your eyes and ears open. It's a great place for an ambush. And not our and ambush a either. Place of personnel, so we can get our intelligence boys in there to start decoding. Once the first two targets are down, the last obstacle standing in the way is their damn pulse field. You need to cross it, then cause it to overload, so we can mop up the place with the T-51Bs. Let me warn you now. Unless you have some sort of a death wish, I wouldn't even go near the field until the first two targets. I've never tried to go there Morgan, preemptively, but it could be funny. I'm not going to, but imagine, yeah, imagine if I did. You need from him. Uncle Sam's invested a lot of money turning you into a killing machine. It's time to pay him back. Dismissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I need to requisition wonderful things. Crap. You're right. I've tried not to use so many times, but end up using it anyway. No, it's going to be different this time, though. This time I got this. It's so good, though. It's so it's such good armor. Fire team. What's the description on this? Assault rifle, combat knife, frag grenades. I'm probably taking that one. Close assault. I mean, Close Assault has more stuff, though. Oh, I don't know. What's the sniper have? That's terrible. I mean, snipers are fine. Missile launcher and a 10mm submachine gun. The missile launcher, it's not so good, though. It's the thing. 
I think I think we take the fire team package. I think it's just the best one. I have to order like people too, right? Patterson's terminal. Recruitment marks required. Okay. So I need to talk to the other guy. So, you're in charge of Patterson's suicide squad, huh? Yes. I like how it makes uh, cap noises. The best part. Very funny, Lieutenant. Hey, all I got to keep me warm out here in this freeze box is my sense of humor. Anyway. I'm Aw, they programmed him with a sense of humor. And logistics. Whatever you need, I'm your guy. Patterson more like pansy. No, no, he's, he's, he's probably cool, maybe. The strike team, I've never led troops like this before. I work alone. No, we don't work alone. I don't, I don't feel like working alone. I hope you know more about this strike team because I sure don't. Don't worry about it. Sergeant Montgomery will be your squad commander, and he knows all the ins and outs of the team. If you need anything, like reinforcement, so what else can I... Um, that is all. I'm trying to remember exactly how this DLC works. It's been a hot minute. So I requisitioned that, but now I can get guys, and they will fight for me. Unit 1, empty. But we, we could get just a sentry bot. But I don't recommend it. Let's get... One infantryman. And then another infantryman. Wait, what's the other one? Hold on. Okay, so I get three guys. So we have two infantrymen. And then a Mr. Gutsy. And you know, then things are just, they're looking okay. Commit team. Deploy team. That is all. Okay, now we have a team. You're doing a man's job. I'll be taking that. Keep it up. Just lob grenades for the next bit. No, no. Ooh, they're oh, there they are. This is them. Look. It's the Mr. Gutsy. He's gonna be so useful. They're bullet. They're yeah, yeah, useful. Okay, so this is the guy. I want to try to save scum a little bit, and we're gonna see how it works. No, that's the increased monkey. Where's the where's the freaking guy? There's a guy. He gives you the things. And we have a medic. Uh. Aha. Uh -huh. Look, it's the power armor that I can't wear. The game won't let me. There he is. This is our guy. You're a guy, right? No. Dang it. More grease monkeys. Where's the freaking get your stuff guy? Soldier, you just stick with me. We'll be the most highly decorated soldiers in the army when this thing is done. Wait, the this they, wait, they can talk to each other? Sir. That I didn't know. Sir. Are you my guy? Quartermaster. Need, that makes sense. I have to go now. Okay, so as you can see, there is a speech option. Now, we're going to try. What did you need, soldier? Um, stuff I have is okay. Now hold on. Here's my position holotape. tape. Remember that. No, 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 no. We don't accept no for an answer. What did you need, soldier? Okay, let's do this first, just because I want to make sure I get this stuff. Just a little. We're gonna get just just a tad bit save scummy. A just a little save scummy. Sorry, this. He'll cave eventually. He has no choice. Because I want the Gauss rifle. Remember that gear. Sorry. Any day now. Come back for a loadout? No. Give me the Gauss rifle. Come on. We Come can do this all day. All day. Or until I get bored Come of it. Back for a loadout chain. These are pretty bad statistical odds, aren't they? Remember, that gear's... I still don't 100% know how this works. This should work eventually, Remember, right? He should just sort of gear. give it to me at some point. Because if he should, it should have worked four times already. Remember, If that, that 34% is anything to go off of. But maybe it doesn't work exactly how I think Come it does. For a loadout chain? Anyone else realize he kind of looks like the Overseer? Hell, you there we go. A lot of respect with the soldiers for what you did to those. Tell you what, 
Take this extra gear with you. Oh, welcome. Be damned. If anyone Timothy. Asks, it fell off. Okay, I got it. We're good. I've got all the weapons that I could possibly need, including the worst assault rifle. Okay, we're good to go. Benjamin, we're going to attack. Looks like we're working together again, sir. General happy Chase Friday, my guy. Yeah, happy Friday, everybody. Intelligence enough has to be a way to halt this simulation, a passcode or something. No, we're not going to do that. Thank you for the compliment, Sergeant. You have no idea how many... All in a day's work, Benji. All in a day's work, he says. Yeah, sure. With okay, okay, we get it, we get it. There's a computer simulation. He's not real. They're not real. The game itself isn't real. There's a, it's like, it's like an inception of non-realism. I wouldn't even presume to argue with this simulation. AI subroutine, uh... I just want to get through this. This is all a sham. I'll make officers out of them all. That's the spirit, buddy. Yeah. Now, on to bigger and better things, eh? Yep. Uh... Yes, sir. What are your orders? What's first? Probably the mining town. Am I real? No, you're not real. You're a figment of my imagination. <laughs> I'm sorry. How creative am I? How, uh... How would you say your life is? <laughs> I can't even make these dumb jokes without laughing like an idiot. You're real, don't worry. You're so real that... Oh, oh damn, no, no, don't worry. You'll get the news in a couple seconds that you're real. Uh, outside the mining town and the listening post. Wait outside the Chinese ice deep, blah, 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 come here, depot. Let's go to the mining town. Yes, sir. I remember that one less fondly. You love the Mr. Gutsy? Look at him, he's winterized. Isn't that cool? I don't want to do that dialogue again, so we're going to save real quick. Go, strike team, go. I have guys, look, I command them. And by command them, I mean I send them places, and they go there, and then they shoot. And that's, that's the full, that's the full length of it. Oh. I was about to say, you're not one of my guys, are you? Going AWOL on me? They're all going to die, by the way. Go get them, Gutsy. Go get them. War cries. <laughs> they don't cry, though. Don't poke your head out. He poked his head out. What sniper? I see no sniper. My rifle's better. I just need to find him. All right, boys, we're going in. We're going to save again. There's going to be a lot of saving. Mining town is crawling. Uh, attack the enemy in the mines. Yeah, just just go. <laughs> go, men. Oh, that might be our guy. That was a something. I don't have a lot of shots for this. That was a pretty good one, though. Ooh. He needs to be neutralized. Bad. I don't think he's gonna do it himself for me. There we go. Everything is great when you have this many meat shields. There we go. Okay, we're gonna save the rest of these because this is the one that's hard to get ammo for. Oh, they took a beating, didn't they? I hear a dog. There were dogs in this DLC? What? All right, hold on. Guy with a bazooka. Ow. I already miss. You're not crazy enough to shoot it. Yeah, that's right. They couldn't even give him a melee weapon. Poor guy. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Just gonna let them uh, do some fighting for me out there. It's fine. 
They're fine. It's fine. This, I think this operation is going fantastic. Have I lost anyone yet? Nope, we're all still alive. I hope the Mr. Gutsy, yeah, he's taking some shots. Nice, nice. This is why we bring the Mr. Gutsy and not the Sentry Bot because the Sentry Bot is too slow. I mean, he's tanky, but he's pretty slow. Bullet sponge, yeah, bullet sponge, he's still here. See, look, it's Bullet Sponge. He made it. They killed the Mr. Gutsy. My boy's down. We can uh, free him. All right. L's in the chat, boys. L's in the chat for the Mr. Gutsy. F? Oh, no. F's? No, no, no. Not F's. L's. No F's here. What's the difference? There is no difference. Come on. Oh, I'm getting ripped apart. Bullet sponge, save me. Come on. Where are the other enemies at? No XP. Well, that's a that's a that's an awful lot of lull. All right, we got Chinese snipers. If no one moves forward, I might have this. They Oh, never mind. Tell me I made that hit. Please tell me I hit. I don't think I did. That one did, though. No universe, that one didn't hit. See, and that one even crit. He's still alive, though. Did I win? I think I got him. Okay, remember, folks, always aim. They got him. Simulated chaos? Is that what you're here for? Are you here for the simulated chaos? I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know where to go. I guess this is the listening post. Let's uh let's just waddle waddle this way. 54%? That's terrible. Strafe the bullets. Continue strafing. There we go. It's that simple. If you're ever being shot at, just keep moving and you'll just win. Right? Man, there sure are a lot of these guys. Did I hit his gun? Oh, that hurts. Not really. He, he felt nothing. Quit moving. I hit his gun again. Oh, oh, come on. I don't even know what that hit. I guess the wall. It must have tried to aim assist to his legs or something. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. It's all good. No more snipers, right? I'm out of I'm out of good bullets now. The Gauss rifle is now is now no longer useful. Uh I am afraid. Cuz now all I have is my least favorite assault rifle in the game. The American one. Oh, crap. Drop those rams. They were blocking me. That's one. Oh, there's more than I thought there were. Infantry woman is down. You know, this could be going better. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. Get wrecked. Wow, this is terrible at this range. I must have missed a lot just then. 
All right, all right, hold on. I think I can get in. And I can. Well, that's annoying. Hold on. Nope, still wind. Flush shields are dropping. Yeah, I know, it's- oh crap. No, wait, the flush shield! Alright, I have a plan. Run. My plan failed. Did he open that door before he died? Huh. Neat. They failed me, I failed them. It's the opposite. Oh, it's a technician. What? Should I? You know what? He's just gonna die. He's basically just a soldier, but a fancy one. A very fancy one. Oh, hey. Oh! I didn't think he'd shoot. I thought he'd wait. Oh, you're kidding. Hold on. Okay, you know what we can do? There is healing supplies outside this way. How about I just suck at my pride? There's more soldiers. Can you mod the game so that the enemies do the Roblox? Oof. Okay, if, even if I could do that, why would I do that? Am I hitting him? Okay. It just works. I need to go back and get health. And maybe bullets. I need more bullets. Whatever makes you sleep at night, bro. Oh, boy. You ever just hide behind a rock and throw grenades until something happens? That's my first time ever doing that in this game. I've never been that desperate before. Okay, healing things over here, and we'll run back and it'll be fine. I think ammo too? Yeah, here it is. Okay, okay. We're good. I don't have a missile launcher. Kinda wish I did. Kinda wish I did. Alright, everything's good. I'm gonna save real quick. It worked. It did. It did work. They, they didn't have a counter for that one. They kind of just had to take it. It's great, isn't it? So this is a mine, huh? I keep forgetting that we're in Alaska. Or supposedly in Alaska. The moon is awfully big in the middle of the day for Alaska, you know what I mean? Is this night? How, how can this be night? It's so bright out. That's the moon. What in the end of the world is this? I thought it was daytime. What does daytime look like? Now I'm just concerned. For my eyes. Okay. Let's try this again. He just runs in, just, yo, I'm here. Wow, I missed, I'm missing everything, huh? That sucks. You know what, in the end, it kind of worked out. Oh, there's the technician again. Hey, man. How you doing? You realize we can't let you live, right? When did he become immortal? Yeah, hold on. What? Just, just wait, wait, wait a second. Just there we go. I have maxed out melee weapons. This should be a viable choice. Poor guy. He was immortal for a second. What are you gonna do now, huh? What are you gonna do now? 
Oh, this is not doing the damage I want it to. I'm the distraction. Put some lead in him. Please, why are you still invisible? I am just slicing you to pieces right now. There. Okay, it just works. Now. Bop. We gotta look out for more invisible guys. I don't want to get jumped. I got jumped. It happened very fast, actually. Crap. Get in there, meat shield. Wow, they are good shots. Man, that went south fast. Go, aim assist, go. Bring a knife to a gunfight and win. Yeah, like Voltron. Oh, hold on, this is intel. It's not useful unless I get all of it, and I'm never going to get all of it, so, you know. It's really not useful, but we'll take it anyway. Health? I'll take healing. I'm all down for healing. Game? I'm telling you, it'd be super cool if there was some of that. All right, there's a sniper. There's another sniper. But we know that they're there. So... Here's what we can do. Because I have a damaged sense of humor, what? Oh, I didn't get XP for that. I did so much damage though. Like, those grenades must have done something, right? Alright, they're still over here. Um, I mean, I have seven more grenades. Ooh. Crap. Get in there. I see the end. The end is near. And then I died. <sighs> Crap. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna run for it. I got it. Reject death. Embrace immortality. I said reject death. Right in the butt. Come on. Okay. I did it. <laughs> Guys, look how skilled I am. You guys like to smoke the ganja? No, not for me. Not my thing, as it were. Burp. Can I shoot the missiles? This is a dumb question, but I'm curious. No, Fallout's not that advanced yet. up and we rush in 40 20 life oh you're bonding fire extinguisher none of that here i like how it's the old fire extinguisher too it's not like a fresh new one rest in peace technician right on my head <laughs> Good job. Was there a was there a reason to be here?
My guy. Greetings from Belgium. Belgium. Optional, blah, blah, blah. So you're trying to destroy the two tanks. Okay, so this just wants us to secure it. So I guess we haven't secured it. There must still be people to shoot. Oh, there's a guy. All right, hold on. They're not as stealthy. One meat bot left. Yeah, pretty much. They're not as stealthy as they think they are. Did we get them all? We did, okay. We did not. We did not get them all. Oh, I just covered his whole helmet in blood. That's sad. Ooh. Kind of morbid. should be the last of them. And the last of the bombing runs on our guys. I'm gonna order our men back. See you there. I've been abandoned. No, wait. Is that hard difficulty? Yeah, I'm on hard mode right now. I'm on very hard difficulty. I left ammo back there. I'll never forgive myself. All right, do you have inspirational words? Needs more soldiers like you. Nope. Carry on. Okay, I need more guys. Enemies so tanky? Yeah, they are. They're very difficult to kill. Very bullet spongy. Do I have to get more of these? Where's the guy? There he is. Fell up. I need more things. Questions? No. Uh, I need to go my strike team. Um. Never mind. I guess. True gamer. I'm trying, but. You know. I played this game enough times. It's just. Hold on. Little uh, little in-game reference here. Y'all remember the Anchorage War Memorial? Soldier. I need that. I'm photobombing, by the way. All right, hold on. I need to drink milk. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the statue formation from the uh, Anchorage Memorial. Throw grenades in tight spaces. Yeah, that's as soon as I can get more. I don't know what they took from me if they took anything. Nope, I still have my Gauss rifle. I have 15 grenades. All that matters, though, is that Gauss rifle. The creme de la creme. Um. So we're just going to go with him. We're just taking him. Because I don't know how to get other people. And I don't feel like trying. So he's our guy now. Isn't it great? Who needs a whole army when I can just have this guy? Meat shield. The only man that we need. Huh. I didn't know you could get this hat. Festive. This has more armor though, so this is what we're going with. This is a pretty close fought war. I mean, it's not very far from one point to the other. Listening post secured. Uh, attack the enemies at the ice camp. Let's just, we're just we're just gonna go. A salute, meat shield indeed. All right, so it's just us. So maybe it's just a good idea to take this safe for just a second. I missed. How'd I miss? Oh, it hurts. Ooh, it hurts bad. It, and not him, though. He, he feels great. He's loving this. He's not loving that part, though. All right, now we just charge. Oh, you got him. Good job. Meat shield. You salute meat shield. Yeah. Don't we all salute him? Isn't he just the best? Crap. That's a doggy. Hiya, puppers. Wow, this is working remarkably unwell. Oh, that one worked pretty well, though.
I mean, I have all these grenades. I might as well, right? There's one. Oh. I better have gotten XP for that. I helped. He's not doing his meatly duties. Or his meaty duties. You're right. But... He threatened to quit if we didn't give him more humane treatment. So... I'm taking some... I'm taking some for the team. Bonk. Okay, let's see. Is there a health thing here? Oh, there it is. Boop. Chinese terminal. Uh, decryption, huh? Automated spider drones, huh? Disturbing. Ever so disturbing. Is there anything else neat here? Can I get another hat? Can I reverse pickpocket the hat into his inventory so that he wears it? No, it could have been perfect. Meat Shield could have had a hat. Oh, the game developers hate fun. Proven. It pr proves that they hate it. A dog is dead. Crap. Okay, so there's a lot going on. I hit his gun, didn't I? Oh, it hurts. No benefit to me whatsoever. Whoa, what is that pose? Damn. Oh, he was getting up. I see. That's more like what I want. Damn you, Todd. Seriously. Oh, damn. Meat Shield is winning, huh? He's just carrying oh. this thing. That's the hit I wanted. Come on, come on. Or Meat Shield steals the kill. There we go. Nice. Assault rifle. Don't mind if I do. You know what? We're right here. I'm just going to go heal real quick, you know? Just uh, while I'm nearby. There we go. Feels good. Feels better. That's a lot of blood, huh? That's more than a little blood. Praise to the almighty Goss. The Goss is strong. It does big damage to their feelings if you shoot them with it. Hmm. Right. Oh. Man, one, one of you here, huh? I got him. Don't worry, he's down. Boop. Hold on. Loot first, then them. You guys want to come with me? Oh no, no, they're just leaving. Good hunting. Good hunting. That, that's it. That's the best you got. Not. Oh, hey, I like to lend a help again. Have I seen the DLC trailer? I have not, but it, it does sound exciting. Would, uh, would play the Elden Ring DLC. I do plan on streaming that sometime in the future, but not for a little while, I think. Get out of my Insane? I see. Maybe I will watch it at some point. Oh, crap. Spider robots. We were warned. Crap. Look at how they skitter. Gross. Yeah, not that gross. It's kind of cool, actually. Hello, everyone. Hello, the Shadow City Guardsmen. Welcome to Fallout 3 Anchorage. I'm winning today. And by winning, I mean I got this guy. And he's winning. So I'm winning. What do you have to say? Ice camp secured, sir. Oh, that's it. As you were. I have to go fight tanks in a minute. And I have no pulse weapons. No pulse weapons whatsoever. Oh, great. There's, there's more. Oh, 
I assume the spider drones are just walking mines, right? That makes sense, doesn't it? Because I, I don't think I've been hit by one, but they don't do anything else but charge you. So I bet they explode. Da 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 da. Hold on. Don't hit his gun. Don't hit his gun. Don't hit his gun. Don't. He moved. He moved. God, I hate being a bad shot. Sweet abyss. Why? That's yeah, better. Yes. Show me the other guy. Where's the other guy? I know there's more. Maybe not. No, there's definitely more. Come on. Really up there? All right, problem solved. And we're just gonna just gonna drop a cheeky little save here. And uh, yeah, I'm winning. He said before arm piercing, high explosive tank shell impacted. Listen, I'm not gonna go down like that. All right. And they're like electric tanks. I don't know how else to describe it. Oh, there's a guy. They're like laser tanks. If I'm not mistaken, they shoot like energy blasts or something. Um, I have to destroy their fuel, right? If I recall correctly, they want the fuel gone. Yep. And we just run. Sir, sir, you're near the, you're, yep. They're Tanzers. What? Now we wait. Very patiently. Whoa, up already. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, ain't it beautiful? What does he do? Why is he a quest marker? I don't understand. Take, oh, tank taser. Okay, okay. I understand now. I understand now. All right, game, where are you trying to direct me here? Oh. I don't know where it's trying to take me. I don't know what it wants. I missed. Of course I missed. Um. 50%. No, wait, we can do better. 80%. Yeah! Love this thing. They get super buttered over it. Oh, I, I think I see where it's trying to take me now. They coming up this way? Yep. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Still alive. Taking you to a shallow grave? Nah, I'll be fine. I'd win. Oh. There it is. Go, meet shield, go. Wow, we can do better than that, right? Suck it. How many grenades to get to the center of a tank? About 11. The laser tank. Yeah, pretty much. My railgun has two shots and it's better against people. Like that guy. I missed. Okay, there's more people here than I thought there were going to be. Well. 
That was the best that I had. Come on. I swear, the world is just more accurate than I am. Okay, so there's two entrances, and I see health in one of the entrances. Now, if we just sprint it, we'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Ah, oh, there we go. I need these now. You get your turn later. It's very effective against fleshy meatbag humans instead of steel tank. It is, though. It's true. It's just, it's just the truth. I mean, I, 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 I beat it. I had enough grenades to beat it. Just gonna run this way now. Did it look cool? Oh. <laughs> that should be the last of them. And the last of the bombing runs on our guys, thanks to you. You said that earlier. To order our men back to the field HQ. See you there. We did it. Yeah. Okay. Now we should be on the last part. I mean, the last part's kind of a slog, but it should be the last part. All right, quest, operation, anchorage. Disable the pulse field. Can I requisition new guys? Game, why can't I have more guys? Why are you doing this to me? It's fine. We can do it on our own. We're good. We have Meat Shield, and he's he's pretty great. Meat Shield, come on. All right. now it's just you oh, never mind. I ha It has to just be me and him. How many grenades did I just go down again? Like 11? I think I'm going to miss those later. Battlefield trenches, pulse field, Chinese occupied refinery. Okay, so we just, it's kind of just a straight shot. We just uh, have to make it through all of this and then we'll be fine. Okay. Very intimidating stuff. Go get him, buddy. Jeez. It's alright, they're pretty bad shots. I mean, it's trench fire, so they're not really trying to hit us exactly, but... You know, they're still kind of bad. American soldier is shell-shocked. Not very great. Poor guy. Ooh. That one hit me. Good job, soldier. We're just gonna go in. <laughs> we got this. I crippleized him. Okay, who's next? Yoink. You're free. I'll take that intel. We march. We march through the trenches. It will be glorious. I should save again. Get in there, meat shield. Are you going to go to all the locations in the game? I hope you do. I don't know. That would be a lot. That would be quite the time consumption for this game. I'll go to everything that I think is relevant. I mean, I'm going to hit everything up in operational anchorage just because you have to, but... As far as, like, all of Fallout 3 goes? Uh, probably not. But I'll get everything I think is important. There's only, like, two or three side quests in the main game that I know of that I haven't done yet. 
crap. Not good. Inferno unit down. Get in there. Meat bag. They're not not meat bag. Meat shield. Yeah, he get. He get it. Oh, we leveled up again. Unarmed. Maybe. Uh, what else is good? Maybe we round speech off at 25, just in case I have to save scum the end of this. But, I mean, I could save scum it. It's not really worthwhile, huh? 50 on that, and then sneak to 30. Screw it, why not? Honor? Yeah, honor. Deep sleep. No matter what bed you sleep in, not useful to me. Uh... Water. What's chemist? Any chems you take last twice as long? Eh, not really. Life giver is not bad. Hmm. Ah. Sorry about the stream quality again, everybody. Toughness. Toughness isn't bad either. Let's say toughness. Eh. Why not? Just gonna yoink all this. There we go. Nice. Hey, soldier. Save real quick. Hopefully everybody's having an okay day. Ooh, we got turrets up there. And spider mines. The way they run is kind of funny. All right, so that's down. We got the pillbox. There's at least one guy in there, though. I didn't quite get out of the way, but... The loot goblin ways. Crap. Go away. Come on. Go down. Shred him. One more good shot and I'm dead. Okay. Uh, let's just go back here. Let's not go back there. Crap. Get in there. I can't. Ooh, I'm dead. That's okay. We saved. <laughs> we should clear the pillbox again. It's okay. They're turret mark ones. Not at all like the horror that is Turret Mark V. Are we ambushed? Is that what's happening? Well, I know what the spider bots do now. That. They do that. <laughs> Don't shoot him. He's your ally. Just gonna uh, save again real quick. Okay, so we got a guy up there still. We got like two guys over here. Feeling a little bit like a spam sandwich. That's that taken care of. Go ahead, shoot. No, no, do it. He ran. He ran away. Have you played Ultra Kill? It's a great game, amazing soundtrack, good combat weapons. It's just all around good. I have not. I've also don't. I also don't think I've ever heard of it. Oh, he's trying to shoot me. It's okay, he's bugged. <laughs> Please stop. 
He's not stopping. He doesn't want to stop. The party never dies. There. Okay. Hey, we got our own flame guy. American Inferno unit. Nice. Nice. Chinese something or other. Decode. I see. Right, well. Now that we're in here... How did they get this far in? Because this is like Chinese-occupied territory, isn't it? And they're just in here. How? Why? I don't understand. I have so many questions. Chinese launcher. Oh, you imagine it like that? Like he's firing Chinese? <laughs> if only. That would be interesting. That would be a tad fascinating. He's having stomach pain. You can tell because he clenched his gut. That's what that means. It has nothing to do with the bullets. Because they're meat shields. Is that why? That's how they got this far? Oh, crap. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. That's right. If we just barrel stuff him, he won't do it. They do not want to die. Oh, crap. So they won't shoot that unless, you know, they can. That's one. Go down. Okay, we're alive. Nice. There's a lot of blood on that mine. And we'll just take all this real quick. Lovely little fusion cells. And I'll save real quick. Happy little, happy little fusion cells. My head immediately went to Bob Ross. What's, is there a more convenient target nearby? Or are these it? Come on. See, his bullets fire straight, though. Okay, maybe they don't fire straight. I lied. Maybe everyone's just equally un unaccurate with the assault rifle. Wow. This is stupid. Blow up already. There's one. See, it's funny, right? Because it keeps aiming lower because, you see, aim assist. And that's where the turret body is. But I don't want to aim there. That's better. Okay, we did it. Nice. Uh, where are the other ones? Oh, there's a lot suddenly. That guy just died. He's dead now. It's fine. I got this. I'm the soldier of fortune. I hear a helicopter. No, sorry, Vertibird, probably. <laughs> the technical name for it. Yeah, they dropping. Look, it's our boys. The T-51 power armor. Wow. Amazing. Just like how, how Todd Howard envisioned it. I guess I go this way. Unless I came from this way? I'll be honest, I'm a tad lost. Oh, nope. Embrace immortality. Reject death. You know, while I'm in here, and while I have this opportunity, I have a knife. Your armor is not as good as the stealth suits. Just as the Founding Fathers intended, yes. This is what they intended when they founded America. Oh, I freaking whipped it. I thought he was going to move. Careful around those helicopters. What do you mean by that? Also, welcome to the stream, Orange Peel. Damn. You, hit, yeah, you brought miniguns? Miniguns suck, though. I mean, it worked on him, though. Go, go. Okay, I have a knife. 
I'm feeling a little outgunned with my knife. Ow. Get back here. Guys, he's still here. Just shoot him. Thank you. <laughs> don't run in. No, don't do it. He's doing it. Yeah, he shouldn't have done that. Poor guy thought he was invincible. He was wrong. He was very wrong. I can walk in it, though. Because I'm not in power armor. Ah. Right. What a brave soldier. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, handsome Squidward. Dang, he got roasted in his own power armor. Yeah, that's what the pulse field does. That's what they, uh... That's what it's used for. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go. I'm cripple something, damn it. Thank you. Jeez. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I frenzied the turrets. <laughs> That's why he's shooting them, I think. I think he's shooting the turrets, yeah. No, go get him, buddy. You got this. Get in there. Oh, okay. This is going pretty well. You don't know how bad I want to rip this thing off. Right? Just tear the turret from its paneling and just start using it, right? Man, that would be cool. Just stop living. Just stop. That's what's going through my head, though. They just need to accept that they're going to die here in the simulation. And, you know, that's that. That's, that's the whole thing. All right, let's shut this down. Intel. That would have been the last piece if I had it all. Boop. Pulse field down. <laughs> Alright, so fun fact. Because I can't prove that there's going to be something to heal and refill my ammunition all the way up there, I'm going to have to go back to the nearest thing that does that to get supplies back because Bethesda does not always have, does not usually have good game design. So, yeah. So I gotta go do that just real quick. You know, just in case because I don't remember if there's anything ahead. Holds feel down and blindness up your eyes. Yeah, it's kind of bright. It kind of goes out with a little bang, you know? Do you think these are newly ruined, or do you think they're uh, uh, old ruins, you know? Like, just something that was left abandoned. Sir. Sir, yes. Why are you all still back here? Sir. What are they doing? Sir. They need to get in there. What are we paying them for? Alright, here we go. Now we're just gonna give a little save right here. So if the game crashes, I don't have to do that again. Sergeant. How did he get over here? He Sir. can't jump. Sir. Sir. Okay, the sir's getting a little out there, buddy. Relax. We're fine. How is there a different way around this? Because the wire just isn't cooperating. Yeah, there it is. I feel dumb. Oh, there was a health thing here too. No ammo though. Okay, now we gotta go fight the general. I might. So, okay, so there's two ways to beat this guy. You can either uh, do a speech check, right? Patrolling the Mahali almost makes you wish for a nuclear win. It's not, listen, it's not the apocalypse in the simulation yet. We're not there. Anyway, you can either speech this guy and then he will kill himself because Fallout's an interesting game. Or you can actually kill him, but he's kind of hard to kill. 
not necessarily because, I mean, he is kind of tough, but everyone always tries to kill me after trying to do it. It's really weird. These are big mines. You'll see when it happens. Psst. Awfully cinematic, isn't it? Boy, I wish I had one of those fat mans. Kind of like the master from one. Oh, the master from one was awful. Okay, we're going in. Kenny, you're forgetting the third option. What's the third option? So he's going to execute that guy. Fighting erupts. That's him. That's our lad. He, oh, we got him. I like how his mouth is very poorly moved. Seduce him. I can't. There's no option for that. You already lost, General. Don't throw away your dignity. It's over, Jingwei. Jingwei, surrender and lie down your arms. I'm going to kill you so much. <laughs> that fucking response. Just so much. Oh, man. We're going to do that one. I see your blood on my blade before today is done. I mean, you probably will see at least some of it. But before that, I'm taking these legs. Eventually. He's got pretty sturdy legs, as it turns out. I can't make him drop his weapon, unfortunately, which also happens to be my favorite melee weapon in the game, probably. But, you know, maybe I can triple it. Eventually. You know, I do, you know, I have the next best thing, too. Guess what I've been saving? I mean, I hit. It crit. He's still going, though. Har har, two intelligence, ten strength build. I'm gonna kill you so much, but I have ten intelligence. That's the funny part. That's about right, though. That's about the, uh, the accurate <laughs> description of that build. Guys, can we shoot him? Yeah, that's it. You see what I mean? Why is he hostile? Like, look at this for a second. They do this. When you don't kill him fast, they do this. Like, look at the situation right now. The Chinese dudes are the ones that aren't hostile. Look. Oh, no, it's sorry, sorry. It's just, they just, those Chinese are built sturdy. Yeah, but look at this. What did I do to piss them off? I don't understand. He's fine for some reason, but then... Like, you look over here, and the Chinese soldiers are just, like, fine with it. Yeah, I don't- I don't get it. <laughs> this happens a lot, though. This is why I like to speech him, if I can, because... Yeah, now- now they're shooting me. And those Gauss rifles hit hard. Come on. Ah, I got got. Uh, okay, we're gonna try again. So now, so now, now that we've seen it, and you understand why I want to do this, um, every time that we load in, I'm gonna try the speech option because it just ends it automatically, and I don't have to worry about it. And if that fails, we'll try to fight him. But oh crap, Todd. Not save. Load. Todd. Why? No, not save. Load. Let's try again. This happens too. Game, I need you to just work. I need you to work right for a minute. I just... It's what I need from you right now. He has a super sledge. Okay, it's not going to. So, we're gonna go in. It just works. No, no, it doesn't. 
Okay, we've seen this guy get executed, what, six times? You're both, you're, you two are synced with the it just works. And I, it, it works immediately. Maybe it does work. He's gonna take himself out now. There we go. Stand down. Okay. Yes, sir. With the general's death, our boys can secure so, yeah. this refinery and be on their way to Anchorage proper. You've helped pave the way for taking That happens to you when you try to kill him? It sucks, doesn't it? Work. I now hate complete it. This portion of your training. Report to your superior for debriefing in your next assignment. Okay, Sergeant Chase. Have <laughs> funny, not really. I won though. I did it. We're done with Operation Anchorage. That was the whole DLC. Good job making it through that simulation. All you have to do now is open the armory. You got it. And as agreed, you get your share. Feel free to take whatever you want. If our records are right, there's plenty for all of us. He he understands that I'm going to take all of it, right? Like like all of it, all of it. Okay, I have my arsenal back. We're we're vibing now. So there's one last, hold on a second. There's one last, uh, one last little caveat to this DLC, and that's um, the people that I'm working for are not necessarily my friend. As you will soon see. There's about to be a, a little mutiny, if you will, a little piracy crewage. Um, where is it? That's good. Shouldn't you be huddling in a cave somewhere? Shut up, ma'am. Ma'am. Now that wasn't very nice. We're not that primitive. Um, to have you know, we're we make bonfires and stuff outside. Like the oh, there it is. I think she's just mean. There it is. Ooh, I like this one. I'm gonna be honest, I'm surprised I can carry all this. There's like a fair bit of stuff in here. Ooh, more first aid. Nice. And that's how you take everything. It's that easy. Uh, let me just double check everything. And we save again. You know what's awesome though, is uh, hold on, is this, oh look at it, oh it's beautiful isn't it, I have so much ammo, so much ammo, mmm, that is a handsome weapon, okay, let's go fight the uh, yeah. I swear something happened. Oh, here it is. Oh! Who shot me? It's Defender Sibling. This guy's a, a mean. He's bad, all right? He wants, uh, he wants the stuff or whatever. Oh, all hell broke loose. It's okay. I trained for this. Don't do that. That is a very handsome weapon, yeah. If I can hit with it. Oh. Stop, just stop moving. <laughs> it, the only problem with it is the reload. That's it. And also, you can't really hit fire it. I mean, you can. It's not very good for this moment, though. Don't let my poor gameplay deter you from the handsomeness of that weapon. Remember, it's great, but right now this is better. 
Oh, that's a lot of bullets. I mean, lasers. Immediately overweight. It's all right. They're not very smart. What did I just pick up? Oh, oh, I didn't have that before. All right. Maybe I can't carry this. I want to, but I can't. Forward we go. You've been disarmed. I got his weapon. <clears throat> Crap. I will not be killed by the last guy. I refuse. Oh no, they got him. They got the guy. Protector, whatever his name is. That's sad. Wait, I'm still overweight? Hold on. Bad at math sometimes. Uh, do I have anything else? Seven. Oh, wait, that's just enough. Now I can move. Where is he? What are you doing all the way back here, pal? Oh, it feels good to be able to disarm people again. I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda nice. Like so. And that's all done with. So who have I looted and who haven't I looted? The power armor is calling to you. Have you heard the call of the power armor? I've heard it, but... But I'm strong. We're sticking with the combat armor. Also, I can't wear the power armor yet because I'm not that far in the campaign. <laughs> so, you know, there's that too. So for right now, for those of you that don't know, this, hold on. This stuff right here is really awesome because it's bugged. Like it's very bugged. So what it does is it's, it's virtually, not actually from what I understand, but it's virtually impossible to break. Also, I think everyone here died. I am the only one walking out. And it's, it's pretty nice. <laughs> To have armor in this game that's that strong and doesn't break. Must resist power armor. Yeah, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. I can I can get along without it. Okay, is this the way out? Hold on. Oh, no, wait, there is someone else. Oh, no, wait, that might have just been turrets. Here we go. This is the way out. Boink. But yeah, anyway, I'll be fine. I can resist its call. The call of Cthulhu armor. All right, I can leave and get my weight in order. And then, I don't know. Honestly, I'm surprised that only took an hour. I know it was a short DLC, but that was really short. Maybe, maybe I can go do Mothership Zeta. Given Kenny, I can't even wear it. It's not even possible. Like, I just can't. It goes in the, uh, it goes in the fun section for right now, though, along with, like, the stealth armor. Is there anything else that's, like, worth putting away here? I don't, I don't think so. I don't have a lot of good stuff. Gatling laser. Laser rifle, minigun, missile launcher, blah, blah, blah. Mm, we can put the shish kebab away for now. Super Sledge, Trench Knife. The Power Armor has its claws on you. Nah, that will be fine. I've got this. Anything else, game? Anything at all? Fall gun designs that Bethesda actually makes instead of basing on something else kind of sucks, like how a lot of... Them have side mags, which phase out World War One. I, I think. Yeah, well, I don't know. Fallout, uh, Fallout world lore is a strange thing. On top of all of that. Okay, so I don't know if it works on ice cold new cola, but I got Nuka Chemist, which converts cola to other cola. 
but I don't think it works for the ice cold stuff. No, it doesn't. Oh, well, well. Do nothing. We're going to carry these. This is uh, healing for a little while. <laughs> the, the ice cold Nuka Colas. Nice. Cool. Uh, do I need to repair anything while I'm here? Because the shotgun's looking worse for wear. But that's about it. So hopefully I have a combat shotgun. I should have something laying around in these drawers. Yep. Give me the, the worst one, please. Terrible shotgun, like so. I do like this, though. This does make me happy. It's a fun weapon. It's just a fun, just a fun little guy. All right, we can go. You have a built-in medic bag in your house? Yeah! It just works. It just works. We're running out of quests. We could progress the main story a little bit, but I kind of... I really do want to try to do it not of this world earlier rather than later. Because there's some really good stuff in that DLC that I think I would be happy to have now instead of later. But... It's such a... Sup, furry boy. No, no, demi-human, not furry. Not quite enough hair on this thing. Or fur. I have hair. Until then... Oh, welcome to the stream, by the way. You want to hear a joke? Go nuts. Time to go sell garbage to the people who like the garbage. Too much waiting in this game. Why does Batman cover half of his face and not all of it? Why? Alright, boutique guy. The one that sells the clothes who also miraculously... No, I don't think you're here. Welcome to Potomac Atom... Fair enough. Because he's an orphan. I'm here to do business with you. How many assault rifles do you want? You can take more. And I don't need this. See, Stye State of Speaking. Uh. All right, Mr. Muscles. I'm going to start by politely asking you, don't, don't do that. I mean, jokes are jokes, but still, we got to try to keep it civil here, so don't do that. I will block you. This is your one warning. Congratulations. I think it's also the first warning I've given on the channel. Neat. And I say that as the stream buffers. Oh, it's funny how things work out. Nice. Another satisfied. Okay, we're done here. Morning. Holy crap, they're still here? I don't even know what's worth doing. They must respect me, dude. Don't be dictator. Nope. Afraid it's necessary. The one and only warning, I'm afraid. At any rate, I gotta figure out what the hell I'm doing next. Because yours truly doesn't have the skills he wants to do Mothership Zeta, but doesn't have much else going on in the game. So... I'm running through things that happen in this game. You know what? Screw it. Let's just, let's just do the main quest for a little bit. We'll do Scientific Pursuit. We're here. Let's talk to Lee. Hey. It's, uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these.
Where is she? Morning. What the Look, this is a restricted area. I it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. I don't look anything like Liam Neeson. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? How do you know who I am? Have we met? Uh, blah, blah, blah. You know my father? Have you seen yes, him? Yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long? You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Perk, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Uh-huh. Trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. He did not. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Uh, this is about my father. Now where is he? I left a vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted. Yeah, Dad well, went to get the milk and didn't come here. back. He's come and gone already. The shiny sword of ultimate shininess with righteous sharpness. Are you talking about the general whatever sword? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Where's this old it's lab of yours? Jefferson oh Memorial crap, I haven't done the Jefferson Memorial yet. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there. Uh-huh. Don't... Don't... Yeah, don't tell people that they shouldn't go places that they ask for. It doesn't work. There's gonna be nothing but overlords in there, huh? <laughs> Fun fact, it's about 100 feet that way. Lag. Is that a jaw? That's right. Entrance is over here. Stopped. <clears throat> you know, at least it's not an overlord. We didn't mean to take the dog meat. Oh. Sir, please drop the gun. about to ask, how friendly is the turret? As it turns out, it's not very friendly. <laughs> oh no, the internet. Kenny, I can't just, I can't fix it though. That's the thing. I'm sorry if uh, you're seeing this in the future, but I can't I can't just... I've tried. I can turn it off and turn it back on. I can reset it or whatever. I can ask the universe to do a better job, but nothing really works. My options are don't stream or just deal with it until it gets better. So here we are. Uh, luck to you if you see this in the future. Because at the rate the internet's going, you might not. 
Morning, deactivate turret system. And that's enough of that. Do the swamp DLC? You mean point lookout? We're not there yet. I I'm going to do that one last. Because it's my favorite one. And also, it's it, it can be a bit rough. Those hillbilly mutants hit hard, alright? That's all I'm saying. Look, I think I'll do Mothership Zeta next. I just gotta get to a point where I kinda want to. But, before that, we gotta level up a few more times. Or maybe just one more time, I don't know. And then I'll do- Oh, hey. Oh, you're just a mutant. He never stood a chance. You summon Cleric Shark. Oh, not Cleric Shark. We don't- I don't even need one of those. This isn't an aquatic environment. You can't summon it. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. Can I preemptively clear the- okay. Drop it. No, even better, Artificer Shark. Everyone, quit summoning sharks in the stream. It's not helping. He manifested ammo. You have to build up the willpower to brave that slog. Right now, I just wish the stream would stop doing what it's doing. That would be great if it didn't do that. Ay, yeah, yeah. It happens a lot, though. On and off. It's like a week-by-week -week thing. Come on. Pop goes his head. Oh, hello. Strats, strats, strats. Yeah, I know. I know it's really choppy. Like I said, I can't, I can't do anything about it. No, it's definitely not him. It's, uh, it's yelling at me, too. Well, it's making a bounce back, I think, now, but I don't know how long it'll last. And in we go. We need dad logs. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Five, eight, ten. It could be... Nah, nah, like I said, it's, it's telling me that I have a poor connection on my end, too, so it's probably not you. Like I said, it's smoothed out now. Or it says it, it, says it has, but... Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking... <laughs> searching for... I don't know. Whatever I could find. It was a Voltaic facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night, after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. And that's where you found out that there were Gex in other vaults. hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda. Spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. <laughs> but there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. 
was a celebrity in his day, a Voltex sorcerer scientist, leading his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. Apparently he was rather good, Braun. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex social preservation program and his work on something called Shit. The Garden of Eden creation. All right, everybody. I would like to introduce you to the single, in my opinion, the single worst enemy in the game. Honestly, I think I'm hurting myself more than I'm hurting it. We need f We need fathers. Oh no, insert generic lord up here. Yeah, it's kind of that way. Uh... Crap. Okay. He's pretty, he's pretty like laid up. So I've got a chance. Come on. I hate these things. Oh, my poor gun. Oh, wait, this is the Chinese one, not the General Zhao one. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. Okay, so to be fair, I was used to using a Chinese assault rifle about an hour ago. But th this will work better. Oh, look, it's got a baby lesser rad scorpion. That's That's cute. It doesn't want to die. Worst enemy ever. There. Okay. I heard a Gatling laser earlier, but we're going to ignore that. Not a clue what it was that's a lie it's probably a sentry bot it was nothing short of a miracle a terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness but not only was this thing yeah pretty much it was actually distributed to several amazing lore rad scorpions oh damn it speaking of rad scorpions hey there's a yagwai over there We do love Yagwai, don't we? No slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the whole of 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computers, maybe even experiments. And that is what we call a swift victory. Just a fraction of Braun's genius. Project Purity would become a reality. All right, hold on. We got the last note. The important one. Can y'all tell I played the game before? Oh, Dad. You done... You done made a bad choice. With this one. You're back? Welcome back. Hopefully, things are better on your end. What else is in here? Hold that thought. Okay, what else is in here? Tumblers today is not useful to me anymore. So we're just gonna leave it. Mole rats? No, wait, they must be below me. Hold on. Yep. 
Oh, not yes and no. Come on, it's a pretty cool sword. It's a pretty great sword. You really enjoy the way I react to things? Welcome back to the greatest shit show on earth. Okay, I don't deserve that much credit. Surely I'm at most seventh greatest shit show on earth. Prepare for loud vault noises, by the way. This is a vault ASMR. I hate this. I hate the noise they make so much. Ah, oh, it's like nails on a chalkboard. It could have been worse. Vault, Vault 101 is the worst. Offender. Me too, Kenny, me too. Well, you got to hear it. Isn't it great? Isn't it, isn't it just fantastic? Welcome to Vault 112, resident. Thanks, Robo Brain. You have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Your life is hell, Please huh, Robo Brain? In your vault tech issued vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned tranquility lounger. Okay, that doesn't sound ominous at all. We're just going to keep the helmet on because if I take it off, I can't put it back on. And uh, we're going to go have ourselves a little adventure in the happiest place on earth. <clears throat> Truly the happiest place on earth. In we go. And we're going to do this the evil way because it's better content. Prepare for bright lights, everybody. Okay, some, just a small amount of bright lights. Uh, welcome, everybody, to suburbia. It's Bill Foster. He's kind of a sloucher, isn't he? Hey there, sport. Beautiful day. No sadness allowed or else. Yeah. Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Okay, George Newsman. <sighs> What's the time? Oh. It's always almost three here, maybe. It's always almost three here. All right, so step one of the Twilight Zone is always do the, the bad idea first. You can't do that here. And oh, yeah, why pay. not? That's why not. Don't assault children in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> okay, uh, so we've tried violence. Now let's do the actual talking. Hi Betty! Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. Apparently, I yeah. starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Oh, I do like fun. <laughs> I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? Gee, I don't know. What's he like? Uh, he's an older guy, around 50 or so. He's a scientist. He's looking for Dr. Braun. What the hell is that? <laughs> That's what happens when you give... You know what? It's better if you just, uh... If you just watch. <laughs> That's your daddy? Yep. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is going to be the best game ever. Don't oversell it, Betty. It's just a game. Oh, it's gonna be good. Hello, sport. She's waiting near the playground. Sport, have fun. Sport, sport. Why you gotta add so much sport to it? 
A game? Okay, I guess. No games. Oh, you know, we'll just be reluctant. I knew games! You would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. <laughs> I forget the delivery for this, uh, this character's <laughs> is great. Um, Timmy Newsbum, who's that? He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. He's a big crybaby. You'll see. You'll see. Make him cry. And then come back here so we can talk some more. Okay. Let's go torment a child. Hello. It's okay. He hasn't met a child for like a hundred years. Timmy, how Hiya. you doing? Hi, Timmy. What's Hi up? I'm Timmy. Want to play? No. But he says I should make you cry. Have you seen my dad? What can you tell me about the neighborhood? None of this is real. It's all some crazy experiment. The truth could make him cry. That sounds simple. Terry, get the blow- No, we don't need a blowtorch. We need psychological warfare. I heard your parents are getting divorced because of you. Oh, I wish- I wish my speech was higher right now. Ah, oh, have you seen my dad? I bet this would work, though. Right? I know just attacking his stuff works. Let's- let's save real quick. There's- there's a right way to do this. We just have to figure out what it is. Um, it's all an illusion. Your life is a lie. What? Um, oh no, it doesn't work. Oh, I was so hopeful. Well, can you tell me about the neighborhood? Okay, I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty. And she's kind of, well, she's mean. Is it wrong that they gave him, that sounds simple. Oh, right. Is it wrong that they gave him, like, the most punchable face I, I know it's a fake kid and everything, but damn, in his voice, it's, it's almost as bad as mine. But just Betty says I should make you cry. Why not? What? No, she didn't. Did she? Yeah, she I hates you. I don't like her. She's creepy. And she laughs at stuff that isn't funny. Like what? I have to go now. Okay, so... I don't know why, but I feel like we did something wrong. So we're just going to punch him. That hurt. No. Stop. Did it work? Are you crying yet? Careful with that. No. No. Okay, it worked. We did it. He's crying. Good job, Kenny. Thanks, Kenny. I did it, Betty. You sure showed him, didn't you? I punched him in the face. I suppose it wasn't the most cerebral way to deal with the situation, but it was definitely effective. Consider the game won. And with that, you win a prize. Your prize is one question which I will answer to the best of my ability. Right. So, I was silent there for a second, so you could really soak in his, or, I'm uh, sorry, her, uh, very deep masculine voice and uh like weirdly german accent i think it's german not important isn't that something special uh just who are you i was known as dr stanislaus braun but here i choose this identity this identity do you find it unsettling in this place i can choose to be whatever i wish and this is what i have chosen you will find that I control a great deal around here. This is no normal girl, you think? <laughs> she blew me up earlier with her brain. If you're in control here, can you please help me? But I am helping you. Shut up, Braun. I am answering questions. More than the one original question I granted you, I might add. And now I think it is time you do something for me. What do you want me to do? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married, and I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage, and we'll talk. Uh, we're ending happy marriages. Ha, huh, that's it? No problem. Excellent. I so enjoy that can-do spirit. You find it unsettling? <laughs> Isn't it, though? Imagine how... I mean, it's pretty much how I... You don't have to imagine it. This is pretty much how I felt when I first got to this, uh... This one. I just, uh, isn't it great, though? It's so interesting. Look, there's a garden gnome, and they have cameras. Maybe. 
Okay. I have to end their marriage. So, uh, hello. you know. Hello. Good day. Mm, how do you end a marriage? I'm I'm well, I'm kidding, of course. I've done this before. I know exactly how you end it. We're taking this though for the future. We could talk to him though, you know. Let's get to meet the Rockwells. Well, hi there. Uh, hello. What can you tell me about your marriage? Betty wants me to break up your marriage. Have you seen my dad? Nice day, isn't it? What can you tell me about the neighborhood? None of this is real. Uh huh. Uh. It's an awfully personal question, isn't it? Now see here. That's not anything for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's private. Why can't people just understand that and just leave us alone? Okay, see, so the funny part is, is he got really defensive, which means I'm not the first person to ask. And I'm like 10. <laughs> I mean, he thinks I'm 10. What's his wife have to say about it? Good day to you. Hello. I hate to break it to you, but I saw your husband kissing some other woman. The the speech options in this one are crazy. Uh, so what do you want to tell me about your marriage? Our marriage? Oh, goodness. What kind of a question is that? Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? Mabel? What a silly thing to ask about. Oh, the plot thickens. So this Mabel character... Uh, might be relevant here. Now, with all that in mind, it's time to make life hard for the Rockwells. If they are both six feet under, we technically did what Betty asked. No, no, it's got to be, it's got to be psychological. All oh, right, right. Hold on, hold on. Wait. You, you don't belong here. Why the? Not supposed to why be the here. hell is she in the basement? It's not real, none of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Ma'am, this is a very strange situation. You're talking about ending suffering. We're both alone in someone else's basement. I'm like a. How old is the main character? 18, 19? I'm like a 19-year-old in a 10-year-old's body. I mean, is this pretty out there? Find someone who knows what's going on. How do I get out of here? Oh, finally. Kenny the Menace. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. Oh, you haven't seen Menace yet. We're getting there. Get away from me, you crazy old bat. Let's just, let's just call her crazy. Because I know that we're in a simulation. And she knows that we're in a simulation. But if I pretend, push her down the stairs, I can't do that. You can only tip Brahmin. But if I pretend like she's crazy, then maybe it'll freak her out. You're the only one who can end it. You must end it, don't you see? You're the only one who can disable the failsafe. I'm serious. Get the hell away from me. You need to know the truth. Otherwise, he'll suck you in just like all the others. Beware. And she's gone. Kenneth the menace. Oh, please, no. You, you can find it. You're not supposed to be here. He can't stop you. And you're supposed to be here? What does that mean exactly? Ooh. Janet Rockwell's diary. I just don't know what to do anymore when Roger's not in the studio basement. He's outside sweet talking that hussy Martha Simpson. He claims there's nothing between them, but I know it's all a lie. I found a woman's pendant once on Roger's workbench, but of course I said nothing. That's me, Janet Rockwell, prime and proper housewife, living the perfect life here at Tranquility Lane. Someday I wish I really had beat her to death with that rolling pin. Oh, jeez. Then Roger would know I'm the only girl in the world. <laughs> okay, so she's crazy. We have a, we have a yandere here, kind of. And, um, and he might be committing a, adultery. Is that what it's called, right? Adultery? Oh, that's right. I have nothing. Uh, we need a Simpsons house. The Simpsons house. Hold on. No gnomes. Get, get on. They have separate beds. Yeah, you're right. It's not a good sign, is it? Good day. Why the hell was Mabel Henderson in here? We just need some underwear. Or whatever that was. Burp. Good day. Yeah. Hello there. Good day. Ooh. It's a beautiful day today. They're meeting. Bye. Good day. Oh. You think that's Yandere? Yeah. I mean, only girl in the world killing people 
for her man. It's pretty yandery. Put on the dress. I don't think I can. I don't even have a pit boy. I have this watch. It's really bad at telling time, too. Isn't the music so happy and charming? Oh, it's delightful. We're all trapped. There we go. Now we can put an end to this happy marriage here. Good day to you. Good day to you. Better go down the basement. There's something you need to what see. Are you doing in our basement? Just trust me. It's important. I don't actually know. I'm the anime equivalent of illiterate. Good day. Move. Move, Janet. Damn it, Janet. I will push you. Get. Come on. Come on. She's really not. Hello. She's really not interested in going to the basement. Come on, Janet. We're almost there. Just one moment. Just come on. There we go. That's it. Okay, now go in. Oh, okay, she came in. Hey, be more careful. Shut up, Janet. Get in here. What's this? Push her down the stairs. Quit telling me to push people down the stairs. We have to end the marriage, not kill her. What? What the hell is this? Ma'am, I'm ten. Looks like Roger is a fan of women's clothing. So it's not yours? Oops. I like uh I like the first option. This isn't mine. What is this doing here? He likes to cross-dress. Well, then I guess he's cheating on you. Maybe it's his, you know, for him to wear when no one is looking. <laughs> oh my god. Roger. He... he wouldn't. But... Hey, I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Hello. I don't think she listened, though. Okay, now go divorce. Roger, you son of a bitch. What? What did I do? Did you think I wouldn't find out? What kind of a sicko are you? Psst. Janet, calm down. What are you talking about? His image, no. You know what it's I'm ruined. Talking about. You spent all that time down in the basement, and I never questioned it. What's wrong with being in the basement? What the <laughs> hell is going on? You pervert. You disgust me. Just stay away from me. Well, we're a terrible person. I wonder what my karma is going to look like after this. Because we're only like half done, sort of. All right, Braun. You have turned out to be quite resourceful, it seems. I am slightly impressed. Okay, don't go with that slightly I stuff. I enjoy your company far more than your father's. He responded quite negatively to my requests. I wonder why Dad would respond negatively to your requests. I did what you wanted, now you have some explaining to do. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. I have a rolling pin. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? I'm just now realizing that this outfit might be the only one in the game, right? No, maybe not, because the lamp... because. Like, the, the girl outfit that we're looking at right there, one of the lamplighters might also have it, but it's, like, really out of place when I look at it in the Fallout universe. Uh, what did my father want from you? Where's my father now? He's here, and he is unharmed. He has merely been rendered unable to bother me. Maybe you haven't seen him at all. Oh, dear. Now you don't even believe me. How disappointing. I'm pretty sure this is a little girl. Oh, gee, you think? You. It's Braun. James His name is Braun. That lens before you arrived. Now let's continue before I grow bored with you. Right, right. Yeah, but no, this this man is a vault tech scientist. He's like one of the vault tech scientists. He's been in a, a lovely little power trip coma for a few hundred years. Let's just get this over with. It's about time. What do I get to do? Ah, now that's the spirit. We're being spirited today. Let's raise the stakes. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. 
Okay, but now we're murdering. Put some effort into it. Make it creative. Beating her to death simply won't suffice. So a pervert. I don't know if I'd say that, but his uh. So if you if you like dive into the game logs that he has lying around, he tried a lot of different stuff, and for whatever reason, he just decided that this is what he wanted to do. I think he had a beach, a ski lodge. Hold on, hold on. There was like one other thing too, but for whatever reason, it was just Tranquility Lane. This. Pfft. She'll never see it coming. Uh, she'll never see it coming. Music to my ears. <sighs> Sounds like Klaus from American Dad. Finally, my specialty now, Terry, get the saw. No, we can't use a saw. It's got to be better than that. I don't... Is he voiced by the same person? It can't be, right? I know he, he's supposed to have, like, the German accent, which makes sense, you know, but... It can't be voiced by the same person, right? Also, welcome to the stream, uh, DB. Hello. So, we have to creatively kill this woman. Uh, yes. The Henderson estate is in tip-top shape, young master. Have a wonderful day. Uh-huh. Can I drink from the toilet? I can. And it's clean. Look, guys. I'm healing with the fake toilet water. I'm an animal. Push her down the stairs. I'll ask Uncle Google. There you go. I'm sure there's a cast listing somewhere. Why? What is it with you and pushing people down the stairs, handsome Squidward? It's just a SpongeBob push you down the stairs all that time, isn't it? All those times. Initiate security program. Nothing happened. Hold on. No, wait, hold on. We can make this work. There's two ways to do this. Would you consider mail bomb creative, Betty? Jeez. Disable security screening parameters. Okay, I like the sound of that. Did she leave? Oh, shoot. It will amuse me. I can't push her down, though. Also, she left. That's not good. Okay, so I can't do that. Otherwise, she'll leave, which is kind of boring. So what we're going to do is this. We can fiddle with the pilot light. The middle pilot light and the gas pipes. The smell of gas fills the air. This was option two. Ma'am, pie. Oh, hi there. Hello. I heard you make really tasty pies. Oh, it was a pie. I guessed. Can you make one for me? Well, sure. Let me just go light the oven to get it warming up. She's so nice. Initiate cleaning, cleaning program. Loads of bolt gun. I can't, can't though. She just leaves. And then the robot kills me. It's... They didn't think it through very well. Come on. Oh, we got to back up with this. Bacon. We made bacon. Can I search you? The simulation prevents you from tampering with the bodies. Oh, that's stupid. Can I burn on this? <sighs> I am the storm that is approached. Okay, it doesn't work. Roast Mabel. It's so, it's so terrible. All right, hold on. And that's a little surprise for anyone else that shows up. Oh, good. I found you. oh crap. No, wait, hold on. Why does this require a key now? You're telling... Wait, so she shouldn't have been able to leave? That's stupid. Oh, I wanted to see the robot do it. Wait, why can't I leave now? Ah, you're killing me, game. She sure was flammable. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah, she was covered in... Initiate cleaning program. Discontinue security program. Okay, so what the... So I could have locked it. But it just didn't work for some reason. You, get rid of the body. Hello. Nice. 
Now we go talk to the people over here. And by people, I mean Betty. And by Betty, I mean Braun. Appliances certainly can be dangerous, can't they? No. You are most resourceful, and you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. I've exceeded his expectations. Now, we come to the last tasks that I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you wish. Right, okay. You're forcing me to do things against my nature, and I hate you for it. How do I know you're being honest with me? I think you'll find that I've been quite honest with you thus far. You have no discernible reason to mistrust me. In the dog house, You're in the body of a little girl right now, dude. It's a little... A this whole thing is dishonest. Don the We're in a fake world. And become the pint-sized slasher. Use the knife to eliminate all the residents of Tranquility Lane. Who the hell is the pint-sized slasher? He is a figure of myth. Born of old campfire stories. You will make him a reality. The residents will know you and they will fear What was I right about? When they have all been eliminated, return to me. D. Bradley Beaker? Who now? Sounds like fun, but these people, they don't deserve to be punished. Why are you doing all of this? Because I can, of course. Wonderful. I have total power here. Oh, it is Klaus? Oh, shoot. Oh, no, it's the fish. And over these many years, I have found that I wish to see others suffer. Well, that was, uh, that was a pretty metal line from him. They have the same voice actor, so it is. Although, to be fair, I don't think I suggested that it was Klaus. I think you suggested that. So, actually, you were right. Good job, DB. But you could leave the vault, find somewhere else to live. Are you mad? I've been here for almost 200 years. My body is in no condition to be used for anything. He's right. And yet here in Tranquility Lane, I am as strong and youthful as I care to be. No. No. I think I'll stay here, thank you. And you. You will now do as you're told. The slasher awaits. I thought I was joking, though. Oh, no. This guy also voice acts in Spiral Year of the Dragon for PS1. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I don't think I've ever played that. Who does he voice in that? Okay, I have to go become a lunatic and kill everybody. So, you know, hold on. Rock. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Midget with a Knife. Well, not really, but, you know, Child with a Knife. Oh no, this is perfectly in my nature. My. Hmm. How does everyone feel about the mask, though? Be honest. Does it fit? Does it fit the situation? Could I not have gotten more clown clothes? Okay, well, you only live once. We kill everyone now. He voices cute little side characters. Oh, I see. Not in this game, he doesn't. Bill Foster has been eliminated. Murder, yep, exactly. Hold on. Murder time. Yeah, run right it. <laughs> run right into me. The slash. Oh no, the joke writes itself, doesn't it? Oh damn, that was a good hit. Sir. This is some high quality voice acting right here. I'm perfectly sane. I'm perfectly sane. This is what Betty wants. Or Braun, the person. He's just standing there. Oh no, I can't get his head. Hold on. This is a tough kid, huh? I, come, come here. 
Oh, just just bear with me, everyone. Crap. Well, never mind. Well, I actually took out quite a few limbs on this one already. Yes, I'm perfectly sane. This is what Betty wants. Alright, just hold on. This is what Betty wants. The pint -sized slasher returns. Yes, they're not all dead yet, though. Okay, I can't do what I wanted to do. That's Mabel. <laughs> oh no, you're right. Is this the one that divorced her husband? Ooh. Did we get her husband yet? Where is he? Hold on, hold on. That's Doc. This is Doc, everyone. Doc is, um, is not relevant to anything. Not important. Not anyone we know. The music suits the situation perfectly. It does, doesn't it? It's so happy. It's such a nice melody. A da, a da, da, da. No gnomes. Hello. Okay, we're hidden. We get a little uh, we get a little sneak attack. Oh, they were below me. No, please get away. Oh, it's her. That's the one you burned alive, is it? I thought that was... Wait, maybe that was Mabel. He can bring him back to life, alright? It's perfectly within canon. Run. It's the pint -sized slasher. This is the one that tried to get us to help. She's kind of fast, though, isn't she? I mean, to be fair, I guess I have legs that are, like, a couple inches shorter than hers, right? Help. Crap. Help. No, 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 get back. Nothing. Wait... I had voice acting just then. Interesting. Oh. Unless that was a, a different kid. Hold on. We gotta make Timmy's lemonade business go under. There we go. He won't sell anything ever again in this town. Ha <laughs> ha. Got him. And now we'll kill his parents. In Minecraft. Oh, please. Get, away. Get back here. This is what Betty wants. It's what Betty wants. Run. It's the pint-sized slasher. Dude, are you the other guy? You are. You left your wife in there to die. Oh, you should see what I did though. Pretty epic stuff. This is what Betty wants. Yeah, the classic head pop. It's hard to make work, though, sometimes, without bullets. Damn it. It's fine. He's fine. There we go. This is what Betty wants. <sighs> Hold on. I got this. Yeah, almost. There we go. So, um, who wants some lemonade? Do I got any takers in chat? Eh? Anyone want some, uh, some crisp, cold refreshments? Eh? Eh? I'm offering. Look at him just sitting there. No? Aw. When life gives you lemons. Yeah, when life gives you lemons, chop someone's head off. <laughs> Me, you'll take a pint? All right, I'll put, you know what? I'll pour you some up right now. Give me a second. Hold on. How much for a cup? It's, um, it's pretty cheap. It's 10 cents. You hear that, George Newman? Or sorry, Nosbum? You're worth 10 cents. Hold on. We'll just... There we go. You too? Ten cents? That's... Oh, crap. That's the only cost. There we go. Okay, hold on. 
can I get some Mabel <laughs> with a side of Mabel bacon? Where the, Where is she? Hold on. That's Bill Foster. When tape like get mad. Okay, there's a lot going on in chat. Hold on. I'll buy a cup. Shut up and take my money. Where Where did I kill Mabel? I don't actually know where she is. We might not serve. No gnomes. We might not serve that. It's not brain matter. It's lemonade. Don't make lemonade. Make life. Take the lemons back. Get mad. I don't want your damn lemons. What the hell am I supposed to do with these? You make lemonade. See? Lemonade. Who is this? It's Bill Foster. Okay, so Mabel's not on the menu. But, I mean, we got plenty of, um... Where, where is he? He's over here. We got plenty of this guy. We got plenty of George. So let me just serve this. Oh, crap. Let me just. I got like one cup. I... Damn you, Fallout. Just want to serve lemonade. You know, it's fine. Your cups are just, they're tipped for your convenience. Get out of here. It's a Portal 2 quote. Oh no. I've never played Portal 2. Okay. Lemonade for everybody. 10 cents. All, all, all it takes. All it takes. Now let's go see who the lucky last survivor was. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. It was Martha Simpson. She's final girl. Hold on. I'm going to drink out of your toilet real quick. Nice. Okay. Where were we? No, no. Please leave me alone. Oh, she left. Hold on. I'd buy that for a dollar. I guess it was nothing. She's running into the woods. What an idiot. No one will find her here. Very cinematic. It's what Betty wants. Come on. Okay, so maybe not. You'll take a glass of that one. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. No, no, no. They're only dead. There's a lot of 80s right now, or 90s. When did RoboCop come out? It was the 80s, right? Hmm. Are you happy now, Betty? Are you satisfied? Well Who's this? Well oh, done. here's Mabel. This is what I did with her. Okay, we're done here. Most enjoyable. Most enjoyable indeed. I haven't felt this exhilarated in years. Oh, she took my slasher knife. I did what you wanted. Now let me out. Yes, yes. I suppose you've earned the right to do as you like. I shall miss your company. This has been a simply wonderful time. The door is now open. Through it, you may return to the real world. And whatever inferior existence you have there. Well, anyway, everybody, this has been Tranquility Lane. Possibly, possibly the most interesting part of Fallout 3's campaign. 80s? Okay, it was 80s. Nice. All right, Doc, let's go. We found Liam Neeson, boys. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Me too, Dad. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? Are you complaining? What are you doing here? You could have been killed. Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. Neither did I. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. Did you get the information you needed? I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek. 
was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's a Fallout it's 1 and 2 reference. Stable, well, it's a Fallout 2 reference. I'm sure that components of that technology are just what we need. What we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. Yep, it's Daddy Neeson. You need to get back to Rivet City? I can't do this on my own. Madison, Dr. Lee has a team of scientists working at Rivet City. They'll have to help. The facility hasn't been used in years. There'll be enough work for a good number of people. And it will take us a while. The sooner uh -huh, I get uh -huh. to Rivet City, the sooner Madison and I can get to work. Push your dad down the stairs. There's no stairs to... Oh, wait, there are stairs here. Wait, never mind. I'm not going to do it. We can't do that. It won't let me. What about me? What am I supposed to do? Yes, what about you? Why, in fact, are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. It was pretty bloody. As I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there to make a life for yourself there, not out here. Um, you left me there without saying goodbye. What was I supposed to do? Screw the fault. vault. I didn't need that place. Probably the first one, right? You were supposed to stay put. You could have had a good life in the vault. No. But I suppose it's too late to go back now, isn't it? The overseer would likely have a shot on sight. He would well, too. Well then, you'll just have to come with me to Rivet City. Murder. You've certainly proved yeah. yourself capable enough. Okay, let's head for Rivet City. That's my... Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Ah. Okay, now that we've rescued Dad, Hello, sir. I can take this stupid outfit off. I can't put that back on, though. Okay, Karen. Dad moves really slow. I stood there for an hour. Okay, we can leave here and never come back. I'm excited to do that, aren't you guys? You need to put your drip back on? I got armor. That's about as far as it goes. I can't put the helmet back on, though, unfortunately. Because, you know, it broke, so that's impossible. Oh, that's right. Hello, Ash Pile. There's meat in here. See? Look at all that meat. That shmeat. Shmeat. Really? I can close that from that? Why would I? You know what? Let's just close it. No one ever needs to go down there ever again. Nope. That would be a mistake. Sh shmeat. That's in my head now. Oh no. Okay, so we rescued Dad. That's Talon Company. Dad has a gun? That I wasn't expecting. That is a lot of Talon Company. You're doing great, Dad. Oh, Dad's doing less great. Well, he'll be getting that back in a minute. There's a death claw. Guys, common enemy. Common, common enemy. Yep. Yep, that's it. Holy shit. Okay, we're winning. So now it's a less common enemy. Guys, look, I'm in the circus. It's killing dad. I missed. Damn it. I'll, I'll hit him in a second. Hold on. There. Dad, don't just stand there and take it. Jesus. How long has there been a sentry bot here? What is happening? <laughs> Dad's been knocked out. Yeah. Isn't Radiant AI a wonderful thing? No, no, it's not. Just die. He took that to the face. His face. Oh, come on. Every time I miss, it hurts my soul. My soul. 
Oh, the robot got him. Oh, ooh. Ugh. It's okay. He's a big target. That escalated quickly. I mean, that got out of hand really fast. Oh, jeez, the cars. He blew up the freaking cars. Just die. Oh, ah, the missile, though. We're advancing. I won. I am the winner. I'm saving. Yoink. So this is what we call Fallout, um, Fallout 3 Encounter Magic. So what just happened is after leaving there, we were attacked by Tal and company. Well, there was a death claw nearby that decided to fight us. And then a sentry bot joined in about halfway through. So, um, yeah. Who the hell is this guy? There was also a Wastelander, apparently. <laughs> I don't know when he snuck into the mix, but I don't think he lasted very long. <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> oh, right. You lost a combat shotgun. Where'd it go? Ah. Uh, it went over here, right? Winner, winner. No, we're not eating cram. We're eating that death claw's face. That's dinner. Deathclaw face is very nutritious. Oh, that's right. Dad took the laser weapon. He just kind of said, mine. It just works. It, you know, it just happens. But my armor is looking swell. And of course, not a single freaking one of them had a helmet. I hate Talon Company. I hate them. They suck. Uh, I think I looted everyone. Well, you know what? It kind of just worked in my favor. Dad left me. Dad? 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 He, he's gone. He's gone. Let's go... Back to Megaton. We'll drop some stuff off. We'll sell some things. Not in that order, I think. Man, I do not have a lot of ammo, huh? Maybe I should go buy some ammo. Because I'm going to need bullets soon. Like, like, a good number of bullets, I might add. Like, more bullets than the game can give me in a short amount of time. But once that happens, we'll be looking good. Hey, Moira. Hey, don't mind. I hate her. He left to go get chems. Dad's, dad's off getting milk. He'll be back. You have a ripper? Good God. He just left me for real. He did, though. He left. I'm off, son. Goodbye. Do I have anything to sell? Uh, I have this assault rifle I don't care about. Here you go, Moira. You can have that. And this super sledge, too. And, um... Nothing else. Yep. Oh, that's right. I have seven alien power cells. You hate to see it. Good hunting. I have to go now. Bye. We'll go drop that crap off. We'll heal. Um, and then I have to go find more bullets. Now, luckily, I know a couple vendors. So that'll help. I have to go now, son. My planet needs me. Liam Neeson left to go fight some wolves, all right? He's really good at that. Might as well take that. Uh, take that vault suit right there, and I think that's everything. Oh, when did I get the combat shotgun? I guess I picked it up earlier. Nice! Oh, you're looking good, terrible shotgun. I love you. I love you too, Cuddy. Ah, thanks, terrible shotgun. Hmm... Okay. So we did that. Let's go talk to Tempany Tower Lady. She sells things. Sometimes ammo. Sometimes not ammo. But, uh, you know, I'm optimistic. 
Manifest, manifest, manifest. What time is it? Okay, she should she should be open. If she isn't open, I kill everyone here. There we go. Ah, see, you just saved everyone. Those ghouls won't be. You have a combat helmet? No. These might be good for the future. Well, let's take a lot. I have so much it's money. I need to spend it. I can't just hoard this crap. I do need to use it. Hey there. Hello. Goodbye. Evening. Well, we'll jump scare there. Uh, next shop. Next shop. Who's good? We go to no, no. Yes. Okay. We gotta go talk to the vampires. The vampires. They will hook me up. If their shop is open. So let's go. The only problem is it's kind of a walk. Which I hate. The voices are acting up again. No, no voices. Just you guys. You're the voices in my head. Anyone have any intrusive thoughts they'd like to share today? Aside from Betty wants me to do it. You know, while I walk through this tunnel where nothing interesting happens except I buy stuff. Mm, the vampires. I haven't used that sword, really. I mean, I killed a rad. Not rad, sorry. I killed a mole rat earlier. And that was about the full extent of it, though. Hello, vampire. Needed a place to get out of the sun. No, my voices. Oh, no. Don't let the voices win. Resist them. Resist the voices. Something about that doesn't look safe. You're the shop guy, huh? If you're here to... So what do you need? Are you selling anything? He is. Okay, he's away from the stand, but he's selling. Nice. You have any good apparel? Oh, he does have a helmet. Nice. A pleasure doing this. I have no special helmet. I just I just have whatever combat helmet I can find at that moment. And you know, sometimes that's his. The ones that he sells. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm dying. Okay, so after all of this, uh, I guess we go help dad. Damn it. Don't worry, distant apology screaming. I'm perfectly stable. Oh, I see. Well, good. I'm, gl I'm so glad that you're stable. So am I. I'm a perfectly stable lad. And that is a perfectly stable chunk of meat. Or like the entire back end of a mole rat. Okay, so anyways, I gotta figure out what I'm doing next. Because there's one other side quest I know of. And it might be cool to, to do, you know? It could be good. Could be a good thing. Then again, maybe not. Hmm. What do y'all know about Canterbury Commons? That's like half a mole rat. Ah, okay, as long as we know. It's important to know what kind of poultry you're being pounded by. Poultry is not just meat, right? That's like bird meat. I guess mole rats aren't birds. We're going to need some of these for raider. For raider. For later. And also a broxo. See... Something about Yagwai tunnels. I'm pretty baked now, so I'm gonna try and make some chicken fingers. Oh, okay, nice. Poultry is bird meat. I knew it. Fort Bannister, Carnal House. What's Carnal House? There sure are a lot of locations. See, I don't like the sound of that either.
Sorry, I'm just I'm just doing a little a little sightseeing, a little looking around. You know? Kenny, what are your voices like? What voices? You mean the ones in chat? The voices that exist in chat? They're great. Some of them hear other voices. Some of them really want me to push someone down the stairs. Uh, one of them's baked and wants chicken fingers. So that's pretty cool. La Enfront. I hate that name. Irradiated Metro. I hate that name. Ranger Compound. I don't want to relive the Ranger Compound. We're going to Canterbury. Let's, uh, let's go, f let's go meet some superheroes, huh? Alleged superheroes. Wait, hold on. Ooh, a shopkeep. Are you Crow? Crow sells garbage. Yes. Yep, it's him. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in Oh, no, he's the armor guy. Okay. You bear the look of one who is hot. Got it, got it. I'm here to buy. Have a look. Combat Any helmet. Ooh, he does. Empty. Nice. you have anything else? No. The voices in my head? Those are the voices in my head. The only other voice in my head is mine. And that guy sucks. Thanks. Alright, cool. Now that I'm properly armed and vested, we can make my happy ass to Canterbury. Where cool things can happen. Wonderful cool things. Yes, that's right. In case you all didn't catch on, you're the voices in my head. Huzzah. Please, don't start a fight in there. That would be bad. This one's still in denial. Oh no, not denial. That's my favorite river. Well, I know the Death Claw won. Not a bad shot, that last one. Let's get another one. Crit? We didn't crit. Not worth it. Give me your hand. Oh, we leveled up though. Maybe it was worth it. Uh. Sneak? No. Oh, wait. No weaknesses. It's not bad. Give me your limbs. Yeah, I need those. Karmic rebalance. No. Karmic rebalance. Your karma is instantly set to neutral. Eh. Deep sleep. No. Paralyzing palm. That paralyzes your opponent for 30 seconds. Note that the order performed the paralyzing palm. You must be completely unarmed. Action boys. Not awful. Life giver. Just more health might be better though. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting a lot of the dump perks now. So take the cannibalism perk. No, no, we're good. We're good. We don't need to resort to cannibalism. It's all good. Everything's fine. I have 80 bullets for this thing. That's not really a lot, but... I don't know. I'm happy with it. I'm happy for it. I really ought to play Lethal Company one day, but it's not a game you play by yourself. You know what I mean? And I don't know any other VTubers, so here we are. Why not? Because why would we eat people? That's just awful. Then again, I did murder a bunch of them for a crazy guy in a, in a thing, so. You'll never get away with terrorizing this town. Not while it's under the protection of the mechanist. You and your pathetic tin can are no match for my army. If you can't tell who's going to win already, you're not paying attention. 
The mechanist is here to protect them. We'll see about that. Attack my ant soldiers. Destroy this fool and his tin toys. Go forth, my steadfast creation. Show these vermin humanity's true power. We're just gonna watch. I like all the gestures, by the way, that he makes. Not while the world is protected by me, the mechanist. Your reign of terror is at an end. And they both rode off into the sunset. Okay. Right? Now we get the real story from Old Row. I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. Have they now? Uncle Road most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth. Uh, what was all that about? Who are those people? The, um, mechanist and the ant agonizer. That's just what they call them. Your delivery was lame. Ridiculous, I know. A while ago, we were attacked by the ant agonizer. That woman with the ants, obviously. The mechanist saved the town with his robots. Well, that was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger, and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. Um, I might be able to help. Oh, that's terrific. I knew you'd help out. Knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. Find where the ant agonizer and the mechanist hide, and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility, and you'll earn 200 caps. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. Yeah, you find scrap, and then you get killed by whatever you find. Speech, double that, and you got yourself a deal. I'll do it. Great. I'm relieved to know the situation will be quickly resolved. Let me know if I can be of assistance to you. Oh, and please, do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in the streets. We don't need another. Can I see something about the antagonizer and the mechanist? Mm, not yet. Okay, so this is the superhuman gambit, as you can see in the neon letters. So, you can solve it by killing one of them and then giving their stuff to the other one, and that solves it. You can solve it by killing both of them and keeping their stuff, but not getting special extra stuff from them. Or, there's a third option. Now, fun fact about the third option. I've never done it, but I hear that you can get some special dialogue... If you go to Hubris Comics. So we're going to try that. Now that said, it's kind of a run. And I'd be lying if I said I knew exactly how to get there. What's a discretion opens fire? Nah, nah. We're gonna try to... Here we go. Yeah, so the fun thing about... Or the fourth option. What's the fourth option, huh? Because, I mean, I presented three options. And, you know, I, I, I think they're okay. Ghoul? It's always ghoul. One ghoul. Two ghouls. Ah, ah, ah. Where's number three? Three ghouls! Seduce them. I can't seduce them. I don't even know if... I don't even know if they look good. How, how would I know that? You know, I've probably seen them both without their armor at least once. So, I probably do know. Dean's... No, we don't need Dean's electronics. Uh, no. How would I seduce them? Hey, baby. Nice ants. You mind if I, uh, make you my queen? Help the ant woman? Why the ant woman? She's the evil one. She wants to kill people with ants. You know, it's actually funny. I don't know how she controls the ants. It's mostly just confusing. Oh, that's not good. All right, crisis averted.
Nice. Remember to bring a shotgun, folks. Anytime you go into a metro, bring a shotgun. You know what? Just bring a shotgun everywhere you go. All the time. We are not bards in this house, says you. I sing like an angel. Ah, the prettiest angel there ever was. Pilot lights. These are good. These are good to have. I was about to say, this better not be locked. It's locked. You know what? It's very easy, though. These are free. These are free. We like these. Just gonna save real quick. There we go. It's all good. Nothing cool here. Nope. What? Hold on. Wait, there's still hope. Nope. Game, why you gotta do this to me? Why can't you just... Let me have stuff. Why is that so hard? Whoa. Oh, we made it. We're in Hubris Comics. Itself. Huh. That was easy. Hmm. Now, what am I looking for? I think I need a terminal entry. <laughs> the prettiest angel wouldn't have yours. I'm not, I don't look like the prettiest angel. I just sound like the prettiest angel. Ooh, a lawnmower. Why do they have lawnmower blades in here? I just... I have to know. Air conditioning controls, release schedule, letter to the editor. Requiem for the ant for an antagonist. I think this is it. Grognock the Barbarian is an excellent comic for many reasons, but one of the most widely respected ones is the depth of its villains from the cold-blooded manipulations of the Mansurin. Mansorian. Mansarian? To the love hate romance with Femra. The stories of Grognock's enemies are every bit as fascinating as his own tales, but for many but for my money, no tale is more tragic and more fascinating than that of the Ant Agonizer. Well, none of her developed fully as major villains like Skullocalypse or Mastodonald. These are some of the best raunchy names you'll ever hear. Who's your favorite Grognark villain? I bet it's Mastodonald. The portrayal of the orphan girl raised by ants and instilled with a bitter hatred of humanity has tremendous potential for reader connection, and possible redemption. However, in Grognark and the Ants of Agony, Mr. Nepatara threw away all of that potential by simply treating the Ant Agonizer as a two-dimensional villain with futile and pointless grudge against mankind. His writing replaces the subtle undertones of lost humanity, oh, her subtle undertones of lost humanity and tragic loss instance with the worst sort of mustache twirling cliche dialogue and is an offense to the deep and tragic character. How a hack like that can use to find work in comics is beyond my comprehension. Hubris Comics should fire him and return the series to the capable hands of Mr. Morales. Morales. Until that time, I refuse to buy another comic from what used to be my favorite publisher. Obsessed in Oakmount. Me when I play Fall for Hog, Grog, and Barbarian Axe. Yeah, that, yeah, you know what? That sounds like you. That sounds about right. Yeah, so fun fact, if you didn't know, the Ant Agonizer, inspired by this place, apparently, she's, uh, she's not original. The Mechanist might also be inspired by this, by, by something else, I'm not 100% sure. But we are going to do a bit of amateur looting. Hold on. But hopefully what I just did was enough to get some special dialogue out of the quest, you know? Maybe something y'all haven't seen before. Oh, I went back down. I'm an idiot. Don't be me. Don't be Kenny. On the plus side, I did get stuff from it, so... Kind of works out, but don't be me.
Da da da. Okay, so we're in Huber's comics again. Let's find our way through. Here's a room. He's gonna get the lore. Yeah, the lore. Oh, I need this. Don't shoot. Yoink. Ah, uh, you deny that tripwire its purpose. Surprised that wasn't explodey. All right, let's see. This one is 60. And that's why we always approach baby carriages with the utmost caution. Hold on. Lore's poggers. It's not. It's not poggers. Why does this have a stim pack in it? There's one other fun thing you can do here. But I don't know where it is. Well, there, there's other stuff too. But remember that there's a theory of game theories. Oh, damn it. No, not him. Don't you reference him here. Right, so we go down. Is the vending machine ticking up there? Oh, here, this might be it. This might be it. Nice toy cars. All right, boys and girls, let's do a little metagaming. Reign of Grog of Grelok. So. We get to play the game. Planes, look around. You are standing in a wide plain. Foothill stretch to the north where clouds gather around an ominous peak. A dirt path winds from a lonely chapel to the east. Through the plains where you're standing a s and south into a bustling town. Wispy mist gathers over marshland in the west where a thin tower stands alone in the bog. Uh, let's go north. Grelok is here, spewing heresies. Okay. We can't let him spew heresies. Did you hear that? He's retiring. Uh, Inventory. I have a rusty sword and a drinking flask. Rusty sword, your weapon. Rusty, but trusty. Drinking flask. A very small flask to carry water. We don't have very good loot. Roll a perception check? I can't. I mean, I can't. It's just look around. You are on the craggy, wind-blasted face of a mountain. Storm clouds coil above in the summit, pleading you the sp um, pelting you in sparse vegetation with torrential downpour far below the foothill. A wide plain stretches across the south horizon. Grelock is here, spewing heresies. A giant, oh, a glint between the rock catches your eye. Investigate glinting object. You take a rough gemstone from the rocks. Use sword, Grelock. Your puny weapons are useless on Grelic. Okay, so. He's a bit of an endgame boss. Raw gemstone. This gemstone may be valuable. Okay, fair enough. We're gonna go south. Let's try... You roll... You roll a nat one and few... And a, oh no. A few sticks fly into your eyes and blind you permane permanently. Why? Ah. Look around again. Hold on. Uh, blah, 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 north. Clouds gather around an ominous peak. Blah, 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 blah. Chapel to the east. I mean, why not go to the chapel to the east? Look around. You stand at the end of a dirt path facing a small chapel. The stucco walls are faded. Many roof tiles are missing. The great oaken doors are locked. The congression is nowhere to be found. A small cemetery of crooked headstones lies in the shadow of cracked steeple. The dirt path winds through a great... Futureless plane. A zombie trots aimlessly nearby. There is an open grave nearby. Use sword zombie. Your blow knocks the zombie into a grave. Examine grave. There is a deep, empty grave in the cemetery. <laughs> Several bloated rats and a zombie corpse float in a foot of filthy water at the bottom. Don't fall in. A grotesque zombie head is stuck on a root near the top of the grave. Your bat. You bag the horrific trophy as proof of your deed. All right, we killed a zombie. Nice inventory. What's it say about the zombie head? The smell may make you unpopular. Okay, fair enough. 
Go west. I summon a cleric shark to heal Kenny's blindness. No, the cleric shark. What if it eats my face, though? East? Oh, this is the chapel. Uh, west. South. Town. Look around. You're standing in a dusty market square of a quiet town. Many of the shops and homes lie abandoned in the city's... The citizens that can be seen speak in hushed voices, casting it fruitive glances at the darkened skyline in the distant north. The ringing of the anvil breaks the silence regularly, where a mustachioed blacksmith bends over his work in a nearby tent. The blacksmith is here, working. A priest is here, drinking. Let's do the priest first. The priest drugly curses the undead who have defiled the church. You present him with the tapitated zombie head from your bag. Praise you, he hiccups. Perhaps Grelok's influence isn't so strong. With that, he turns his decanter over on the head and tosses into a fireplace where it bursts into purple flames that burn almost instantly. I must gather the faithful. He presses a brass key into your palm. Please help yourself to what little may be used at the chapel. Okay, so we have a key to the chapel. Roll a summon check? That isn't even a thing in D&D, is it? Uh, east was the chapel. Oh, no, sorry. Crap. Look around. Examine chapel. Dust notes hang lazily in the shelf with a colored light stretching across the chapel from peaked windows. The pews, pulpit, and everything else are covered in fine mist. There is a very deep stone sistered near the entrance that is full to the brim with blessed water. There is more than enough water here to fill your tiny flask. Okay, so we have blessed water now. Congratulations, me. The shark suffocates. They're doing, they're doing TTRPG in the the chat. Everybody, go west. West again. Look around the swamp. You're standing a narrow stone path in the dark marsh. Greasy bubbles float to the top of the bog water on either side and pop lazily, splattering your legs with muck and slime. Lovely. A short stone tower squats here. No door is visible, and the stones are smooth and polished. A balcony juts out midway the tower's face. The, heady, the heady smells of incense mixed with the nauseating stench of the swamp. The stone path unfurls eastward towards a broad plain beyond the marshes. A wizard is here. <laughs> Gustical... Jesticat... Hold on. gesticulating wildly from his balcony. I think that's right. Talk to the wizard. Who who the slayer, slayer of Grelok approaches, raw stone in hand, just as I've seen. Wizard's pointy hat bobs excitedly as the points a finger at you. Suddenly, a pale orange arc of light extends from his knobby finger and draws the gemstone from your bag. Before you can react, the gemstone halts and hovers in the air before the wizard's nose. Essence be true. Powers renew. Fat, fatty hoodoo. With that, he slaps the hovering stone, smashing it against the smooth stone of the tower. It bursts in light. The stone spills into two. And one lands in each outstretched palm of the hopping little wizard. Shards for the sword wrap her in iron and shell. She'll find Grelok's black heart for you. Take the chaff, too. You'll need payment for the smith to forge the weapon. He tosses the stone down, which you leap forward to catch safely. Okay, we have a stone. What do you do next? They're summoning more cleric sharks. Okay, town was north, I think. Okay, maybe not. South. Blacksmith. The blacksmith regards you gruffly. It's about to dismiss you when you produce the polished gemstone from your bag. He sets his hammer aside and twirls his mustache. All right, fine stone. Oh, all right, fine stone, that is. He says, admiring the faceted stone. What would you be needing, then? Following your careful instructions, the smithy reforges your rusty sword with the magical shards at the center of the blade. Okay. Free drinking water pouring over, blah, blah, blah. Good friend. Okay. My chicken fingers are almost done. Nice. Chicken fingies. Let's stab this guy. Use magic sword. When you draw your sword, Grok lowers his great horned head and bellows laughing in your face. You grit your teeth and swing a mighty two-handed blow. The magical blade ringing clearly, even amid the tumult of throaty cackling. The 
You swing the sword so fiercely it escapes your grip and hurls into the open maw of the monstrosity. Lost from sight in the arid darkness of Grelok's throat, you step back as Grelok jerks his mouth shut and stands upright. He's still for a few moments, then starts clawing at his neck, muffled. A ringing can be heard as if from a great distance. Suddenly, Grelok's chest bursts into a fount of vis viscous green blood. The ringing can be heard clearly now. And as thick life blood oozes around the pr uh, protruding tip of the magic sword, the storm clouds whirling the peak are already clearing. Grelok is defeated. The end. Thank you for playing. What did the holy water do? See? I don't understand. Victory. Game over. Okay, that was the beta for that game. Uh, so as the people that watched my uh, Let's Play of Reign of Grelok, uh, what, what do you guys think of the beta? I think we didn't use the holy water for anything. The grenade just dropped. Why do they have ammo here? This is a comic place. Ah, I've angered something. Nice. How big? Oh, crap. That's not good. The beta needs more squids. Yeah, maybe. Just stay down. Crap. This is working. I've done it. I don't like how it sounds like his legs are shattering. Just go down. Oh, he's pulling pieces of himself. Oh, gross. Cease your heresy, ghoul. Stay down, damn it. Ah. Gross. Also gross. What a monstrosity. Crap. I could use a magic sword right about now. Oh, he can come up this. Crap, 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 crap. I got hops though. I got him. One of the toughest enemies in the game, here to give me nine caps. Two caps. Ooh, did I overestimate what I would be getting from that? The God Emperor? Why is the God Emperor being dragged into this? He has no power here. How long have there been ghouls here? Whoa, he survived that. He didn't survive the second one, though. Ah, soda. I had good timing that time. Nice! Ah, I'm going to die. Especially when I find the next Reaver. Because there's always a next Reaver. Damn it. That kind of sounds like heresy. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe I want to join Nurgle. Be sick all the time. Damn it. Come.
Come one, come all. To Kenny slash Aporium. Well, that's unnerving. That's okay. We have plenty of healthy, delicious water. Now, if only I could find the other thing that I'm looking for, because there's really only one event left. Anything cool in here? Abroxo? Turpentine? Ooh, wait, we need the Abroxo. I do believe you need Abroxo to make Nuka grenades. I do believe it's a key ingredient. Probably. Maybe. We'll find out later. That said, Hubris Comics Tunnels. Is this the same tunnels I was in earlier? It is. Wait, there's another way in? Why? Ha, what purpose is there? There's not like a sneaky route. You know what? I have a local map. Let's figure this out. This way, maybe? Maybe it's lower. Hmm. No, this might be right. That is a lot of tennis ball machines. Ow. Guys, I was assaulted by sports equipment. You know what? At least I wasn't killed by sports equipment. Sportsmaster would be proud. Paint gun. No good books. Only crappy books. Only the worst books. Hmm. Hubris Comics, whatever. Publishing. Nice. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. I recognize it. That's a lot of ghouls. Yep. That's a few ghouls. Jeez. All right, so we got a bunch of hungry ghouls on one end. We got turrets on the other end. This guy wants me. Crap. That's what I'm talking about, Goss Rifle Parry. Any last words? No, me either. Your excitement gives you away, ghoul. Up. He's probably missing a stomach now. All right, let's see. I am hidden. Not for long, though. These are Mark V. That's bad. That's all right. I'm really well equipped. Why would you ever? I don't know. Nurgle just seems like the best choice for Chaos God, right? I just, I just think it's the best one. And you know, unless you're really good with Tit Snitch, but probably not, right? Hey, look, he's not hostile. Who's this? Mad Johnny Wes. Hey, Mad Johnny. Damn it. Where's gonna save? Crap. Go down. Double crap. We run. We run and we come back. But Slanesh has tentacles? Oh crap, he followed me. Go down. I love this gun. This gun is great. Oh, it's so good. Crap. Mm, double crap. I'm probably gonna die. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay, hold on. Okay, no, 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 no. First shot, first shot. He didn't follow me that time. 
Oh, he was thinking about it, though. He was sure thinking about it. Why not follow the holy light of the God Emperor? Because the God Emperor has an agenda that does not correlate well with me. Don't you look at me with that face. That butter face. Those puppy dog eyes. I Have I mentioned how much I love this gun? <laughs> have I mentioned it yet? Would you like to know how much I love this gun? I love it a lot. I was so good. Ooh, we resisted that time. Not that time, though. You know, it usually doesn't proc this often. That's why I'm so surprised. <gasps> Crap. Do they poison you? I didn't know Feral Ghoul Reavers did that. Crap, 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 crap. No, 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 don't reload, don't reload. Poor man can't get up. Oh, no, he got up. Trust me, he's figuring it out. Okay, thank. Thanks a not God Emperor that it knocked him down. At least he won't make you insane and turn you into a disgusting, withering mound of flesh. I mean, how can you prove he doesn't do that, though? Hey, Johnny Wes. Goodbye, Johnny Wes. Oh, damn, he took that like a champ. There we go. I didn't know there were mines here. I guess I have to get down the low way. Ghouls. They left. All right, so walk down Main Street. They had a nice vacuum here. Oh, what was I watching? What was that? Ugh. Crap. The only downside to this weapon. My own aim. Oh. Good enough. I'd run from you too? Oh, well that's just mean. You're saying you don't want to get to know me up close with this shotgun? What kind of loot do you have, handsome Squidward? What kind of loot do you have? I, you know, I'm just asking. I love playing as Space Marines, but if you ever talk crap about the orcs, the orcs? No. They're a tank. You know, if they want to be. Sometimes. Open. Okay. Quantum. Man, he had a lot of drugs. A brown t-shirt and a clarinet, huh? I'm interested in the clarinet. How much damage does a clarinet do? It's like it's like 30 psychic damage per shot, right? Aw. Alright, we've done everything here. We can leave. We're done with Hoover's comics. Now I can go fight the lunatics that live in the place. Uh, Canterbury. And we can see if I get any special dialogue. And if not, I got to beta test a game. Ah, feels good. Up. Oh. 
Nine caps. What loot? It can only be wielded by you. Yeah, I guess I'd probably be better with a clarinet than handsome Squidward, huh? Sad but true. The Adventures of Captain Cosmos. Let me out of here. Please, let me out of here. Utility tunnel, printing, mason district. This is what we want. We want to discover it on the outside so we can come back. This place is a bit of a maze. Combat armor, pump action shotgun, and a walkie-talkie. That's your loot. Talon Company? Really? Of course I have to reload. You enjoy 40k nights? They're the big guys, right? Look at that. He got himself ambushed. How's it feel? How's it feel, huh? Oh, no. Now you're shooting me. I'm out of soda. I have explosives, right? Maybe just a couple. Just a few explosives. about a him oh. that is a lot it's a little less now There is a tree trunk standing between me and a horde of super mutants. That is it. Praise be to nature. Holy hell. Oh, wretched freaking ether. Anyway. <sighs> yes, big boys. Yes, the knights, the knights. I did it. Yay! Ooh, okay. Now I can go do the antagonizer stuff. Yay! Like I always intended to do. Okay, I'm ready to kill ants. As 
soon as I drink this water. The healthiest water in the universe. Man, this is not healing like I wish it would, though. I guess that's what I get for taking Life Giver, huh? You're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Okay. Oh, they have a captive. As I was saying. Hold on. I'm not a charity case. She can just stay there. She can hang out. Anyway, back to healing. As I was saying, we're gonna go kill ants. I have a lot of minigun bullets. You know what's sad though? It really isn't a lot of minigun bullets. There we go. So two more. Okay, we're now radiation free and fully healed. To Canterbury! So we do the antagonist first, because we always do her first. Because the other guy, the other guy's got big robots. The kind that aren't fun to fight. Generally, they're generally not fun to fight. Antagonizer's lair. I have no idea what this is. I guess it's a tunnel system. Oh, there was a fountain here. Hold on. Better. Water fountains are just better. Top of my orc lungs. Oh no. Warhammer. The Warhammer. It, it, it doth not ever end. Purified water. Yay. So now we're just going to go shoot some ants. As soon as I find some, it could take a minute. They're kind of down here, you know? There's but a few ants. Let's see. Man, the streams are going on for three hours and 40 minutes, huh? Remember, no one has ever seen a purple orc. Yeah. The Invisible Siri. Bad day to not be fire ants. Truly an awful day. What's my favorite faction? That's tough. I hate to admit it, but I like the Tau. I think their aesthetic is very cool. But... Marines, Space Marines, you know, like the the, um, the Imperium of Man. It's it's still pretty great. So it's it's gonna be one of those two. I decapitated it with bullets. Where are the rest? Ants, ants, ants. The minigun really sucks, by the way. I hate this gun. It's got its moments in a pinch, but that's about it. For the ammo you're spending, garbage. Actual garbage. <coughs> I'm talking too much today. It happens. When the VTubing does start, the talking does too. All right, I think we've reached her. Yep, this is her. Everyone, the ant agonizer. So at last, you've penetrated the court. 
of the antagonizer queen of all ants that's quite the title there sent by that meddling mechanist he'll learn that no one can stand before my royal regimen of fighting ants i watched him Explain repel you yourself. earlier though why shouldn't i have my pretties kill you where you stand your days of terrorizing relax i'm here to help you and your answer a joke time to die give up and you won't get hurt <laughs> You would walk here and presume to command me? I'm not seducing her. Humanity's Look at that outfit. To an end. Your kind died because it knew only petty bickering and wars. But not so, the noble ant. It works with its brethren, knowing only loyalty and duty. And this is why they have grown, while humanity crumbled. You're Once one I crazy cookie, huh? Mechanist, I will be free to spread my colonies across the wastes. You got this ant agonizer idea from a comic, didn't you? What? No. No children's book could possibly capture the true. <laughs> this is why we did it. This is why we went there. I read that the ant agonizer was an orphan girl who could could still be redeemed. From what I read, Grognock totally kicked her ass. <laughs> I bet he did too. You, you really believe that? When I read that comic, it explained so much. Where I came from. Who I was destined to be, what I had to do. But it never said the antagonizer could ever have a chance to go back to being normal. It never said I had a chance. Please, I, I think I've made some terrible mistakes. If you really think I still have a chance, just let me go. I'll give you the suit. No one ever has to see the antagonizer again. That just was easy. Please, let me have another chance. Certainly. <laughs> Now that I have your suit, I'd say you don't have a chance at all time. No, no. Certainly. Good luck in your life. Thank you. Just thank you. Okay. Well, that was easy. We're going to take this soda. And with all that done, I can leave. As soon as I figure out where the extra exit is. Probably this way. Maybe this way. This hole? There's a hole here. The mechanist is not so easily redeemed. We may have to kill him. Maybe. Or we just give him the suit. That works too. We'll, fig we'll figure out when we get there. That's the hard part though. I have to get there. Yoink. All right, that's his lair up there. He lives on the hill. Our noble hero, the Mechanist. Was the antagonizer everything everyone expected? She looked kind of crazy underneath the mask, huh? I kind of, I kind of got the crazy sensation, you know, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. A hiking we will go, a hiking we will go. Up the Canterbury Hill, a hiking we will go. The Washington Monument really is just visible everywhere, isn't it? Alright, we're going in guns blazing, probably. I think you can hack a lot of stuff in here, but... Nice missile. Have I mentioned that I hate the minigun? Because I really do. Why'd I open that? But, you know, I have all this ammo, so we might as well use it. Yep. Is there a toilet in here? Ugh, 4 HP. Gross. Ugh, gross. Gross. Oh, four still. Why does this place have such crappy water? I mean, it's a radiated, a radiated, an irradiated crap hole out there. But damn, the puddles are better than that.
Ah, that's not good. Can I get him to follow me? That would be great if that would happen. Oh, I think he's coming. He was zooming, though. This one's fast. Oh! Come on. Please. He doesn't want to come. He refuses to follow me. That's all right. I do have an alternative. Oh. I can clear the room. And then I can remove the problem. Fun fact, you can't stagger turrets. So they're not going to fall anywhere. There we go. Okay, now for the big guy. He might stagger, though. I don't think he staggered. That time he did, though. Is it every critical? I don't actually know how it works. This might do good, though. Oh, yeah. Excellent stuff. Oi. impact. We'll take the sensor modules. Anything else good? Probably not, right? There isn't usually anything good. Might as well hack this. We'll see if we can't disable the security now that I've killed it all. There we go. It's that easy. Just randomly guess. Note for manager. Shut down sector turrets. There we go. Okay. You turned him to ash. Yeah, the sword does that. We might have been talking about Warhammer weapons earlier, right? But, um... Don't count, uh, I mean, they're really cool, right? But don't count Fallout weapons out, because it's, these weapons can canonically, like, just a laser rifle, can canonically turn an entire human being to ash. Like, bones and everything. And that's pretty impressive. Also, an entire sentry bot, apparently. Let's see here. Can I get an allowances replenished? Can I get an amen? Crap. It's okay, we can just retry. There's nothing stopping us. Damn. But a bolt can, can canonically turn an entire human being into blood soup. I mean, I mean, any explosive will do that if you have a big enough one, right? I don't remember what... I've seen the statistic for it. I just know it takes a lot of energy to turn someone completely to ash. Cremation is difficult, especially with one laser rifle shot. I think it's impressive. Damn it. It's okay. I have infinite tries as long as I don't screw it up. We take those. Victory. It was not. How about this one? How about that one? Can I just get the allowance replenished just once, please? I'd have this. You're killing me, game. Okay, so we have sketchy, and then we have stating. These are our two options. Worst case scenario, it also takes a lot of energy to turn a hive tire into a red stain on the ground.
Don't worry, you can contact your local nerd with more time than me to find out which weapon is canonically better. Weapons are canonically better. It has to be this. Okay, so it says they're not hostile. You too, Sentry Bot. You too. Ah, I killed it. Move along, please. I'm just gonna uh, ignore them. Because I really don't want to fight everything in here. This is a hard lock. I think this leads to our guy. Which would be really embarrassing because I think I passed this earlier and there was no need to do anything. Hmm, it hurts. I'll get it in a minute. Oh, come on. I know it's hard, but game, why does it gotta be so hard? defeated the vile antagonist. Hand it to me, and I'll make sure that no one else can ever bear the mantle of the foul antagonizer. Uh, wait. First, let's talk about what you've been doing. My mistake. Never mind. Ah, screw it. I don't have a reason to have this suit anyway. Just leave Canterbury alone. Excellent. The evil taint of the antagonizer will never darken the land again. Now that the antagonizer is taken care of, Canterbury Commons is safe. And for your loyal assistance, I'm honored to present you with this laser pistol, crafted from my last loyal robot assistant. May it guide you well. But the mechanist cannot rest. Not while there's evil afoot in the wasteland. Farewell. The Gauss rifle would probably be a... Probably be an even shitter. I was gonna, yeah, I don't know about that one either. Because this thing can knock a death claw on its ass. Now, don't get me wrong. I know Laz guns are pretty alright and everything. But if I remember, I've played like Dark Tide before. And they don't look like they pack quite that much power. Wasn't expecting that. Right. All right. I think it's the Protectron's gaze. It's okay. So, now we just complete this. And then I don't know what to do. <laughs> We're back to square run. Hi. Hello, oh, Uncle Roe. Fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? Not really. Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all, of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure? <laughs> pleasure. Hard to come by here. What's on tap? Neither. Just wandering through, Roe. In that case, I'm sure you'll find it was Providence that brought you here. Why, have a talk with any trader in town, and I'm sure you'll find just the thing you didn't even realize you needed. Ah, took care of both of them. There won't be any more fighting in the streets. That's grand. I do believe it's fair to say you've saved Canterbury. 
And unlike that mechanist, you did so with significantly less stress all around. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services rendered, and a little bonus as a special thank you. A Gauss Rifle can even one-shot a normal dude. Yeah, you see, you're weighing, like, uh, game mechanics against that kind of stuff here. You understand that I'm on very hard in that it's a video game with health bars and stuff. Like, canonically, this is a railgun. It would one-shot a person. And also, it can one-shot people under the right circumstances in the game, so, yeah, you know. I'm saying from a lore perspective, it could, uh, it could do it. <laughs> and it can also still knock a death claw on its ass. I think las guns, canonically, the ones that I'm familiar with anyway, they can do things like take human arms off. Right? And you, other normal weapons that people use in real life can do that too. And this is a sci-fi handheld railgun. Like, come on, man. I'm telling you, it's better than a las gun. With that in mind. Nurgle's entire thing is making you tanky as hell. Isn't that everyone's entire thing in Warhammer though, supposedly? Don't they even use small arms fire in Warhammer? I know they got their, like, crazy nonsense weapons and the LAS gun is really popular, but they have normal guns, too. And those work on Nurgleites to, a, a, you know, considerable effect. They ain't exactly gods. We're keeping the nuke grenade, just because it'll be useful one day. Do I have enough quantums yet? I've been sitting on this quest for an eternity. Nope. Mm, we don't need this. Cute gun, not useful. Throwable thermal nuclear warfare. It is handy. In a pinch. We don't have nuke mines yet, but they kind of not good. So, you know. 30. I don't have 30. Stream has been going on four hours. I think we progress the story a little further. And then I call it a night. I don't know. You know what? There is... There's one significant event we have left. Pretty much. Waters of Life. Remove that. Go to Rivet City. We get Madison Lee back on board. Game. Alright, it's already coming back over. Am I going the right place? I thought it was the science lab. Unless the science lab is up. The, I hate Rivet City. The layout sucks. Nope. Okay. This is the upper deck. It doesn't actually lead where it says it leads. It leads to the upper deck, which I guess has the science wing. Oh, this game. Move. There. I feel like this was a very unoptimal way to get here. But can the Gauss rifle fire more types of bullets than the 
there are people living in the average hive city. No, I think it shoots just fusion cells and whatever flavor of fusion cells exist. Including but not limited to overcharge, surplus, and the neutral. Actually, I think specifically speaking, it doesn't actually use fusion cells. It uses two millimeter rounds. Or two whatever rounds. It uses something that the, this game doesn't account for. Specifically, it uses those things in Fallout 2 and Fallout 4. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? Um, well, we'll get there, Dad. We'll get to the more worthy endeavor. me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. I don't remember ever Each listening to this dialogue. A database. We couldn't access it. I always just talk to Dad and skip it. Right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. <laughs> Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Is everything all right? All right, he's we done. We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer... Hmm, won't that be dangerous? All right, let's go. That's my... It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. Did you need something? Maybe because it's dang boring. A tad bit. All it does is characterize Madison Lee as terrible. Kind of. Well, she's not terrible. I guess being asked to do humanitarian work by someone who can't even prove that it'll work in dangerous settings and then trying to deny doing that kind of makes sense. But, you know, screw her. Okay, now we actually get to kick the story off. <sighs> and everyone's here. We can't accomplish anything until we can get inside. But none of us are particularly capable fighters. I hate to and that's where I come in, huh? In harm's way, but you seem to have learned to handle yourself. I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. Sure thing, I'll be right back. Hey. <laughs> The casual, t the casualness of it all. Just yeah, okay. I already did some work, but there's more than a few super mutants in here, so you know, this sword might actually be useful. It's pretty close quarters. Super mutants are kind of slow. I might be able to make this work. We're gonna have to do some sweeping though. Basement? Sub-basement. This is probably where most of them are anyway. Score bag. Mutilated arms. I knew the sword would be useful. I love this thing. It's all right. Mutants have a tendency to overswing a bit. Because we don't want to die. Why are you fighting? Why don't you just freaking lie down and just die? There we go. Oh, oh crap, I took the meat. Ugh. Ant meat. We just eat the entire thorax of a giant insect. 
All right, let's see what I'm up against here. Oh man, more dad hollow tapes. I didn't realize there were so many. Well, I probably knew, but who has time to worry about it? We got all the ones that matter. You atomized my boy. Yeah, he's taking a little ash nap. Don't worry, his spirit lives on. You know, underneath the holes in the floor. This way. There's one. Who needs to hide? I have almost maxed out melee weapons. Okay. And we're all done. The place has been clear. I did good. There's baseball stuff in here. Why? Oh, was dad getting lonely? He was down here thinking about playing catch with his son. That's, that's pretty good. That's headcanon now for me. He's with strong Terry now. Yeah, they're having a bro moment. Locking arms, you know? You son of a bitch, I'm in. Plotting revenge against me. That would be just like Strong Terry, wouldn't it? To plot revenge against me. Okay, let's go talk to Dad, and then we can do all this stupid fetch stuff that's supposed to make me feel emotions, and then we can kick off the anarchy. The wonderful, wonderful anarchy. Oh, I took your head off, huh? Nice throat. Hello. Are you all right? Is it safe in there? No, Dad. Everything in there is dead. I'm proud of you. Now let's get in there. Oh, he's so proud of me. We take a moment to talk. I have to go. Hey there. Hey. Well, that was awfully uh, flirtatious, wasn't it? Hello. I can't wait with enemies. What enemies? I cleared it. There shouldn't be anything. <clears throat> Damn it. Unless there is. What? Why? But it gave me the dialogue option. <coughs> Ugh. Steamy. Morning. Morning. Yes, hello. Good morning, sir. Your dad is the enemy. Oh, the twist. Imagine. Oh, a cutting board. Hey. Those are a bit of a, a rare commodity in the wasteland, you see. Good to see you. Will the walking ever end? Right? Ugh. Are you there yet? Here we are. Yes. Where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation, Revelation 21.6. 6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. Yeah, this is why he likes that the passage. Because of Project Purity. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. You got it, Liam Neeson. What do we need to do right now? The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Yep. Things have deteriorated here since then. And there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. You got it. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred. So you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Got it. Okay, let's do that. You see, what's going to happen is uh, Pops up there is going to uh, send me down to do something and then have me come back up to grab something else that I need to do something else down there. And this process repeats a few times. Oh, what horrible game design. 
I know why they did it, but come on. Anyway, I remember where the pump controls are, so I think I do. I walked by them earlier. How many people did I turn into ash? More than one, it would seem. Oh, thanks, Dad. I'm so glad that you set me down here knowing that I would need something to do something else and then just not giving me that thing before I came down. Oh, I love Dad for that. Oh, boy, I sure do love fetch quests. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Fetch quests are the best. Oh, man. Kind of like how all of Fallout 4 is basically one fetch quest. I mean, that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, but ooh. It does feel like that sometimes. Also a defense quest of all things. Like no matter how much defense you give a settlement, they just always get attacked. And you wonder how. I've been hearing good things about you. Yeah, mostly. Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb in Megaton? Yes. Why do you care? Yeah, I disarmed the bomb. I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. Oh, thanks, Dad. Just please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world. Far more dangerous than anyone in that vault knows. Yeah, you could say that again. You said something about fuses. Right. The flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. Radio. Am I going to have to come back up to get stuff for the mainframe? I don't even remember. I just remember that, you know, why. Morning. Morning. Who was that? Was that Lee? Down important. Let's go. A fusing we will go. A fusing we will go. Hi ho the Mario. A fusing we will go. Not that way. And after I do the fuse situation... I get to crawl into another grate. Ah, the slowest part of the game. The most immersion breaking, game destroying part. All of this. Nice sofa. Why is there a sofa down here? To me, four is not a fetch quest, it's a find and kill quest, specifically like your son as fast as possible. Nice. Just head straight there. Oh, thanks, Dad. I appreciate not having to go back to the control room. I think we all appreciate not having to go back there. Honestly, pretty light repair work. We don't do much. The main frame. Oh, hello. Use the intercom so I can tell you where to go next. You got it. You're doing great out there. Keep it up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Where, where am I now? Where do I need to go from here? On the right level. Head to the western end and look for the large automated door. Uh, what now? You're on the right level. Head to the western end and look for the large automated... Okay, well, luckily for me, the game gives us this handy-dandy marker... Did I not just speak with him on the intercom? Hold on. What? There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Janus, it's on your way back. Intake pipe. Got it. Head. Got it. Okay. Wow. He told me a lies earlier. Thanks, Dad. Come back up here. No, wait. Do this thing. No, wait. Do this other thing. Dad, you gotta make up your mind. He's just like me. For real, for real. Alright. Let's go unclog this pipe. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad could happen. Nothing bad happens in Fallout. Only good things. I 
swear to God, if I find one more fuse in a video game, it's going to blow a f going to blow a fuse yourself. Oh no. There's a lot of fuses in games. They like they like fuses. It's their favorite thing. Okay. Let's unclog a pipe. I thought that was a landmine. I was so ready. What the hell? Why is there a spatula in here? Squidward, explain. Why is SpongeBob's spatula here? Yoink. Dad? We have company. I hate company. They don't lock the door in time. He's fighting the rats for us. Oh, good. Thank you, SpongeBob. Do I have to go this way? Oh, this is unlocked. Okay, boys and girls. This is what we've all been waiting for. It's time to go to war. Glorious, glorious war. Okay, now I have to remember how to navigate this place. We're, you know what, this might work. Hold on, hold on. They're pretty slow too. Or at least I'm faster. Remember to max out agility, kids. Get that thing as high as possible. It does come in handy. Are you in Hellfire armor? Jeez! Okay, I've decided there's a better way to do this. He got it. He got it before I did. Come on. Jeez. Nice. Oh yeah, this is the good shit. The very good shit. Okay, let's go. I... We are at war. Dang. Is it corn again? No, it's not corn. It's, um... I guess they'd be Chaos Space Marines? Kind of? That's about right. See, that's more what I was expecting. That's their typical getup. It's, uh, it's not always effective. I can carry it, okay. Two full sets. That's the dream. It's okay. I'm actually... I'm better armed than they are. Crap. Not feeling like it, though. Oh, I shouldn't drink those. Crap, I'm an idiot. I got Nuka Chemist. It's okay, he's blind. He's blind because I put a railgun into his face. Just a little bit. Just a little bit into his face. Just a tiny bit. Are they resistant to being knocked over? Because I thought I heard the noise, but he kind of just didn't go down. I hit the column. And I missed him. Remember how I said every time I die just a little bit inside when I miss? With this gun, it's happening. I'm dead inside. They're really sturdy and hard. There we go. That's one. 75 XP, that's a lot. Oh, he's, he got sent over. He got sent over. I hit his gun. That's fine. We have not Blackhawk. Uh, this'll do. You're a bad shot. You're terrible. Okay, I might be worse. Don't worry, Kenny. I'm dead inside, too. Don't be dead inside like me. That would be awful. We're doing great. That was two soldiers. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so something about this, right? Just something about it doesn't look right, right? It's kind of interesting, though, to see. He's one with the armor. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's go fight some more, huh? Yeah, just yeah. Wait, yeah, he's one with the armor, or yeah, it's, it's interesting to see. I miss super mutants. Okay, we're not gonna die, we're not gonna die. Oh, my weapon's withdrawn. This facility is now under United States government control. The person in charge is to Ladies and gentlemen, the Colonel Autumn. And turn over all materials related to this project. That's quite impossible. This is a private project. The Enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately mm -hmm, hand over mm -hmm. all materials related to If the I could get fire. through this glass, he'd be I'm dead. Sorry, but that's Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Dad's really got just trying Sir, every speech option he sees in that time box, I am huh? Going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply she immediately, dead. sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. Do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project and aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Yep. In a few moments to bring the system on. Dad is about to, uh, he's about to pull a pro-gamer move. My patience wears thin. It'll only be a few more moments. Run. Run! He... Okay, that's pretty good. He's off to go to that that great milk store in the sky. Just perform a stealth takedown through the grass. It's much better than having to resort to battering oh gargoyle camping. No, 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 no Arkham references. James. Dad's gone. gone. Yeah. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now. Uh-huh. I'm not leaving my father in there. How do we get out of here? Lead the way. Let's not There's waste an old any time. That will lead us out of here to someplace safe. We used it as an evacuation route once before, but that was a long time ago. I hope everyone remembers how to get there. There isn't time to round everyone up. Come on, follow me and hurry. Okay. You know we don't have to run. I can kill everyone here. I mean, the game's not gonna let me, but I could. Probably. We need to escape while we can. Don't wander off. We're going to need you. Excuse me? You heard me. We need you right now. You're the only one here with any amount of combat experience. We've got the, oh, the egghead behind us, and who knows what ahead of us. If we're going to make it through here, we need your help. <laughs> You're not in charge here. You're right. What do you need me to do? I didn't hear a please. That's all I'm saying. We need to stick together, but we need to move quickly. We'll follow behind you, all right? Let's... Follow me. Hey. This is gonna be great. Ghouls everywhere. Chunks of meat. There's a spine in that one. Damn John Henry freaking in his eyebots. <laughs> this, by the way, I think is the highest damage threshold armor in the game. The Hellfire armor. 
it breaks, if I'm not mistaken though, it breaks very fast. Even faster than most other armor. Enough of that. Wow, there sure are a lot of these things in here. There's a locked door up ahead. I can open it, but it'll take some time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's great. Oh, that's right. I don't have very hard... Okay. No, no. This'll do. What, what is it even doing? I guess it's spreading the great message of the Enclave, huh? In these sewers. And terrorizing the scientists. Oh, the game isn't cooperating. Why? Okay. Well, I hit him that time. Does this lead up? Or can we just... Are we just ignoring them? Is that the plan? Because I don't feel like engaging in the shootout right now. Hey. Every time. Every time. None of that. Bottle cap mine? There's more. Don't get behind me. Hold on, we got more. If I can see them, they can see us. Who is over here getting chased by a ghoul? Hold on. None of that. That's it. Oh. Enough of that. Stop saying no. I, you know, I don't know. The Enclave might be better. I might like them more. Even if their broadcasts bring me great pain. Great, great pain. We can't go any further. We need. Uh, why would we need to stop Marzen now? Has a heart condition. He needs medicine, or he may not make it. I'm not. What can I do to I help? I have sufficient medical supplies with me, or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you Here, take some stim packs. I should get him through. Yes, this looks to be enough. He'll need medical attention once we've reached the Citadel, but... Th thank you. Give me a moment. Five? Oh! I should have just took his head off. Do you know how many how many caps that is? Did someone just die? Oh, I think they killed a ghoul. That's probably it. <sighs> okay. Oh. Pretty good shot, actually. If I do say so myself. Not as good, but you know, it did the job. Come on, hold still. Oh. You best armor in the game having lunatic. Ooh, big one. Nice. More of this, please. Maybe it has something to do with, like, armor. Right? Maybe the more armor you have, the more likely you are to not get knocked over. More damage threshold, if you will. I missed twice. Mm, I missed twice. I'm never gonna let it down. There. Him and his creepy, veiny body. Shut down.
Well, I hit. I hit twice. I disarmed him too. Or no, maybe that's the other guy's gun. Poke your head back up. That's it. That's it. Okay, problem solved. Where did they go? Did they just go on? Did they just move without me? What? Why would they do that? I guess that explains why I heard someone die. They might have went ahead and got shot to death. That sign of the praise. Oh, that's right. I read that already. How did this get over here? Huh. Neat. Come on. Why am I using this? This isn't even good here. Just give me the sword. Dead guy. Did he get mauled to death by ghouls? <laughs> That's sad. Poor guy. Alright, they're dead. I'm going this way. Hopefully, there's a light at the end of this tunnel. Because I really don't want to meet a Reaver. I would prefer not... Ooh, Quantum. I would prefer to not meet a Reaver. We did meet a glowing one, though. You know what? We can fight him. We got this. I got this. Famous last words, I know, but I really do, I promise. See, I kite like a like a fiend. A demon, if you will. Hard? What's in here? Looking like a whole lot of not much. More ghouls. We have more ghouls. Why would I go this way? If they want to follow me, they can do that. Now, nope, there they are. Yep. Enough of that. You got caps? You do. Eight caps. Wow. Amazing. I don't even feel like searching ghoul bodies anymore. It feels like it's too much effort. We made it. We hit safety. And they're letting me take their stuff. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brotherhood of Steel. That's a lot of ghouls. We're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna shut this, I think. If it'll let me. Yep. <clears throat> Works for me. <coughs> See, they all made it out. Good stuff. Now we just let Lee threaten a military power real quick. And we'll be good to go. Is someone putting hearts in the chat? I'm catching the tail end of them. Yep, there they are. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. You'll have to leave now. Liar! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! She heard him. 
Or, or he heard her. Jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, the Citadel. This is where the Brotherhood of Steel lives. Basically. Not basically. It is where they live. It's, it's canonically where they live. Next quest is picking up the trail. Whew. You guys just get in there already? Thank you. to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I've heard reports of an incident there. What did this is Lions, by the way. He's their leader. The he's, the, he's this chapter's the leader. He's the Purity. elder. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. And it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the Purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. It's awfully gloomy out right now. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Isn't it kind of funny how she's just kind of so. spasming? The know this? No, I don't she's doing a sidestep. She's doing a little dance. No wonder she sounds so tired. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume. I can see the resemblance. I don't look anything like Liam Neeson. He knows what we need. Vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well, we'll sort this all out. Hail. I need to speak with you, Father. Certainly. I... I need to rest, lie down, or something. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. No, I mean, so, most of the Brotherhood chapters suck, but this chapter is pretty great. I know that you do not wish to discuss... You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. Thank you, Lions. Not a Brotherhood how tag. What should I do with it? Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where can I find Scribe Jameson? She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A Ring. What do you know about the Enclave? More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. That is pretty the dramatic. The of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see, over thirty years ago, back in California. Second game. Then they were led by a President Richardson. <laughs> now we've got this. A Dick Richardson, if, if to contend with. You know. Matters not now. If I remember correctly. Or they seek to control and destroy, all in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. Not sure more about the Brother of Steel. Anything you can tell me about the super mutants? I have to go now. Maybe more from him later. Maybe. We're going to get some stuff sorted out here because there's a lot of talking that has to be done and what have you. But after that, I think I'll be calling the stream. It's, uh, it's been a night. But first, Rothschild. Need something, friend? May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. Thank you, Scribe Rothschild. World lost one of its few remaining visionaries. I'm still here. Do I count? I tormented a bunch of people in a simulation earlier. I guess I don't count. Two simulations earlier. Damn, I've been I've been in a lot of video games in this lately. Thanks for your sympathy. How did you know my father? I have been a part of the Brotherhood for many years. Party Party first began. I did not work directly with your father. He and his team valued their independence, and I respected that. Hmm, thank you for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. <laughs> now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some Vault Tech equipment? Yeah, we need a GEC. 
My father was looking for something called a gek. Do you have one? A gek? Goodness, no. Certainly. Crazy pre-war technology. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. So, you know how to find one? Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, He's building however, super weapons. Give you access to an old pre-war computer from Vault Tech. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A ring. Thank you for the help. So now we go this way to A ring. We don't really have a reason to do this, kind of, because we have a bunch of Vault Tech information from stuff that happened like two streams ago. I wouldn't mind learning power armor training while I'm here, but I don't remember. I know someone out here trains you. I just don't remember how you get the dialogue to, you know, try to learn. Meanwhile, in A-Ring, there's evil afoot. So many Brotherhood people. Damn, their organization is rather large here. PC area vault listing, vault, I do believe it's, it's one of these. Hold on. It's not 101. Oh, here we go. 87. Okay, that one. Ah, it's good. Uh, I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood is an old After the war, we are part of it. Or would you like to know? Where's the rest of it? Here at the Capital Wasteland. Okay, I'm trying to figure out who you talk to about power armor training. Welcome. Someone gives you that info. Hey. Game, where am I going? Did Rothschild come down here? Why? I thought he was in whatever, the HQ hey. area. Yep, here he is. Ah, uh, you're back. You need some. Uh, Vault 87 has a geck, but I don't know where it is. That's a lie. I know exactly where it is. I believe I can help with. Step over here for a moment. Yep. He should be in the other room. Can I wait? Can you just go there? Okay. And we just follow him, and he shows us the big projector screen. Hail. That could have been bad. He's uh, getting ahead of himself, by the way. Three Dog, what he was narrating is after the events of the game. Oh, the game glitches are real. Okay, start this spiel. shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Nice. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Yep, what's what's difficult about it? The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. Also, it's literally locked. You can't get in that way. How do I get through the radiation? Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. That, yep. There's got to be another way. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. Hmm. Don't you know? Well, I guess it's time to find out. I'll go there myself. The Brotherhood simply cannot spare the resources necessary to investigate the area. Perhaps you may be more successful. If you do find anything, please return here so that we may decide how best to proceed. You got it. Thank you for your help. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. <sighs> Vaults of the Wasteland. Interesting that they have this map here, huh? All right, I think I've done my 
bookkeeping for the most part. We head back to my character's place, do one final little inventory management, and that will be the end. Maybe. I might be able to... Maybe it's Lions. Where is Lion? Star Paladin Cross. They are a follower. And a cyborg. I think they're a cyborg. Star Paladin Cross. Actually, my character's a cyborg right now. It's kind of fun. They're training. All right, tell me I can fast travel from within here. Thank goodness. Not another Temple to Union situation. And we got the Vault 101 Emergency Frequency, which is one other side quest. Let's uh, listen to that now. Maybe not. The game doesn't want to play it suddenly. Laser rifle, plasma rifle, plasma rifle, super sledge, blah, 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 blah. I think we'll keep all of that. It's all cool. Nice power armor. You understand. And of course, who could forget the not big daddy helmet, the iBot helmet. So that's nice. And... I've got enough quantums now. That'll be something I do later, probably next Fallout stream. Trouble on the home front. Good enough. The quest has been marked, that's what's important. I won't forget it. How's my, my armor setup looking? Bad, very bad. Little maintenance never hurt anyone. Not too shabby. And we'll save. And we'll save again. Alrighty. I think that for better or for worse, this will be the end of the whole stream. It's been long, somewhat eventful. I actually accomplished a few things. Progress the story about, I don't know, a fourth. Believe it or not, we're fairly close to the end. It's not much of a push left. Completed one random side quest, two random side quests. I don't remember exactly. All of Operation Anchorage, Mothership Zeta in the future relatively soon. Probably before I get any further in the main story. Hmm. Things to think about, things to think about. Anyways. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by and, you know, watching or yakking with me. You know, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. I hope you had some kind of fun during this whole ordeal. Watching me miss a thousand shots with the Gauss Cannon. Rifle, sorry. Gauss Cannon something different. Always a blast. I have fun ragdolling ghouls. It's the most entertaining thing to do with that weapon. Anyway, have a good night, everybody. And uh, take care. Bye.